Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Nothing says spring quite like this. not. I mean, they don't even have a swim club, so... But you worked so hard at it in high school. It's cool. There's a ton of other awesome stuff to do in college. I bet. Well, guess I'll find out soon! Little did I realize... Is he... Sleeping? What the what? No, seriously, what? What in the actual what? Hi. Uzaki, right? All alone again, I see. I'll just have to hang out with you then. Your college loner lifestyle is officially ending today. What's up for lunch? Uh, the dining hall, I guess. Hey, is it cool if we join? Wow, cancelled. Guess my afternoon's wide open. No work today either. What to do? <laughs> what was with that glare? He's scary. Sakura! Maybe I'll just bum around on my own for once. It's like I can't even get any quiet time now that she shows up every five minutes. There's no reason for you to yell. <laughs> well, I called you over and over, but you weren't hearing me. So what's up? Where are you going? Uzaki, seriously, what the hell is wrong with you? Huh? Nothing. Wait, are you headed to lunch? Oh man, that's too bad. My friends and I actually already ate. But if you insist, I could always come along to keep you company and watch you eat. How's that sound? I've got no classes this afternoon. I was just taking a little stroll around campus. Later. Uzaki, is there a reason you're following me? Yikes, look at that face. Well, as it turns out, I'm suddenly available this afternoon, too! Crazy, right? Given half the chance, I know you tend to default to being a loner. But come on! Two has gotta be way more fun than one. Not your business. Besides, I've told you a million times, I happen to find quiet time alone much more relaxing. Here we go again. Being a loner is no fun. Don't call me that. Hey, that's right! You're actually not a loner because I'm here with you now. Quit tagging along, you damn pest! Well then, where are we going? Not telling. Bowling? Karaoke? Forget it. Oh, come on! Spill it! No. Ugh! What's with you? Why are you being so rude today? I'm in the mood. In the mood? What's the deal? We've hung out before, so why not now? Huh? Treating me differently depending on your mood? It must be so convenient that you can get with me when you feel like it, and otherwise it's bye bye Can you please watch your phrasing when there are other people around? What a jerk! Utter trash. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, I suck! Come on, let's go! Woohoo! Hey, once we're done here, what do you say we get some food? <laughs> I'd totally be down to join you for dinner if you want me to. I'm not paying. Freaking cheapskate. Why? You trying to mooch or what? Wait, you're kidding me. Were you really gonna see a movie by yourself today? Sure, why not? <laughs> wow, you're that guy! <laughs> I mean, that's a prime loner move. It's right up there with.
of going solo at a water park or a sushi buffet. Ah, I can't. Why don't you ever shut up? You're gonna start making enemies everywhere you go. At the very least, you could bring it down a notch. Listen, this is the live and let live era. We're all free to find time in our busy day to see the movie we want the way we want. Right, sure. Seriously, shouldn't we all spend our free time however we choose to? Don't laugh at other people's hobbies just because they're not yours. Yeah, okay. Plenty of people treat movies just like any other pastime. Not everyone makes a big deal about whether someone's in the seat next to them. That's just how it is. Totally get it. Spoken like a true loner! Give me the strength to keep it together. Going to a movie whenever one feels like it doesn't make one a loner. The scheduling alone is a hassle with more people in the mix. Oh, that's a fair point. The main bummer, though, is that you can't talk spoilers with your friends really loudly afterwards when you go alone. Okay, you know that's like one of the worst possible things you can do as a human being. You're just determined to soldier on despite your desperate loneliness. Don't act like you figured me out. Honestly, I knew I shouldn't have brought you. Well, it wouldn't have mattered, because I'd follow you all sneaky-like anyway. You are so messed up! I guess that's really your idea of fun? Huh? Think about it, it'd be all kinds of hilarious if I spotted you buying something embarrassing in some weird store. I know I'd laugh myself silly if I saw you picking out dirty DVDs or whatever. <laughs> Owie, that hurts! Stop that! Suck an eye! College students are actual adults, so no more mean girl mocking of people's hobbies or digging into their private lives. Finally. I haven't been able to pick which movie to see with you all up in my business. Uh, hold on, you came without a movie in mind? Well, it was a last minute thing. Besides, choosing here is one of the thrills of solo movies. You sure about that? Listen. Yes? If there's one you want to see, I'll pay. Really? What about your solo movie? It's not like a rule that I have to go solo. And actually, with you here, maybe I'll see something different. Anyway, I figure my reward points will cover the two of us. Seriously? Well, if you say so, then I'll totally let you treat. Thanks! How about... This! What a bargain! I mean, it's heroes as far as the eye can see, so we really can't lose! Oh yeah, that's a great one. I saw it once, but I was thinking of seeing it again. Oh, cool. Two students, please. I'll use my points. Yes, certainly. I'd be happy to help you. Well, she has her moments, but she still makes me crazy. She seems happy, though, so I guess I can do this much. Mm -hmm. Hey, by the way! Hmm? <laughs> it's interesting that you've apparently seen enough solo movies to pay for someone else's ticket. Definitely screams winner, you know? <laughs> you've reached, like, pro-level loner! Huh? Wait, what's happening? Are you... I'm kidding! Jeez! Oh, I'm Sheesh. Sorry, I'm sorry. Will that couple ever shut up? Stop it, will you? Gee, thanks. That was so great! Yeah, a good film's always worth a rewatch. And I managed to zap all those points you banked going to movies alone in a single day. That's your standard for great? I guess the nice portion of the afternoon's officially over. Oh, hey, would you mind if we stop by the electronics store? I need some new earbuds. Yeah, sure. <laughs> See, we're getting along just fine. Huh? So weird. What is it about this sort of shop that makes me think, since I'm here, I should definitely buy something? Whoa, score! Sakurai! Uh, yeah? Look, you gotta check this out! Get over here! And what about your earbuds? Come on, sit down and try it! The next seat's open! Do you ever listen? I guess a massage might not be bad after a movie. That's correct! It works great! I'm a Vasilia! Though with me, my shoulders need the action instead of my back! Oh yeah? Okay, where did that come from? Uh, I know, sorry. Ah, I gotta make noise, but it's good. My shoulders have always been super tight. The relief is almost too much to bear. Ah, I mean, I get it, but when you, you know, sound like that. I would buy this in a second if I had the money. It's just, oh well. Oh my god. <laughs> Go! That wasn't even
even a full five minutes. Just stop. Save all that stuff for home, when you're alone. Wait, save what? Huh? Jeez, this weirdo. Making those kinds of noises in a public place. Hey, looky over here! Oh, man, what now? Apparently, if you stand on this thing for ten minutes, it's like getting a whole workout. Pretty awesome, right? Hop on! Give it a try! Please, suck it up! Oh my god, why are you like this? Ugh, fine. What is it this time? Are you kidding? It's VR! VR! Oh, virtual reality, huh? Well, would either of you like to give it a try? Yes, please! Very much, thank you! Hey! What? Whoa! I can see, like, everything around me! Okay, we get it. Can you keep your voice down? I hope no one's behind you. Behind me? Ah! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Your reactions are kind of the best. They should really consider putting you in a commercial. Ah! They got me. Well, VR is the best invention ever. I'm so sorry, sir. Are you all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Ah! Okay, what have I done now? Pardon me, ma'am, but would your I prefer something less dangerous. <gasps> I can't get over these ocean graphics, they're amazing! Bonus? You look like a regular person with those goggles because they hide your bad guy face! Shut up, stupid! Whoa! It's a giant shark! Wait, is it coming this way? It is! Oh crap! Ah, it's fighting me! It's totally fighting me! I'm dead! Ah! Ah, ah, ah. You're completely freaking out! Ah, you're one to talk! <laughs> Big and soft and kind of scary. Wow, I've never thought much of VR, but this was pretty cool. It even reproduces touch. That was incredible. Hey, are you all right? Oh yeah, it's okay. I'll be fine. <laughs> you said VR made you want to do something physical, and now all you're doing is swinging that bad looking stupid and racking up a pile of strikes. You gotta focus. Would you please shut up? Here comes the next one! You can do it! Knock it out of the park! Home run! Enough at you! <laughs> <laughs> Not even close to being a fair ball! You're just... you're the freaking worst. You said you'd done this before, but you totally haven't, am I right? Damn it, you really know how to tick me off. Fine. I played for one year in junior high. Whatevs! I wanna try too! Here's my card. There's still some on there. Thanks! Don't stand too close or the ball will seriously hit you. Got it. How about if I hit a home run, then dinner's on you. Eyes forward. Do you want to get hurt? Okay. Plant the feet. Swivel the hips. Oh, dude, like the real deal. What? Hold on a sec, did you? <laughs> did you stress first? Yeah. You must be nuts whipping out a full swing like that. Now turn over. I think I heard a big pop. Yeah, I'll say. All I did was copy you. And look where it got me. A novice can't start off putting their hips into a full swing. Of course you hurt yourself, dummy. This is all your fault. This excruciating pain is on you. I don't think so. <sighs> Go home and try to get some sleep. And see a doctor tomorrow. But before any of that... Jeez, do you ever give up? Let's, Let's eat. eat! Well, you seem to be able to walk fine on your own. So it's probably nothing serious after all. If it still hurts tomorrow, see a doctor. And you really should head home now and get some rest. Don't you worry, I'll survive. You don't get much exercise, do you? That injury is solid proof you haven't been very active. Well... What the heck did you expect? I'm only a be- It's around with. Mm -hmm. All right. You realize that never would have happened if you hadn't elbowed your way into tagging along. Hold on. Isn't that 
My chicken? Hey, why are you demolishing my nugs? Huh? You ate all of them? Huh? I mean, are we not sharing? First off, we're not. And second, how is it sharing when you eat the whole plate? Hmm. You can keep it! <laughs> Your girlfriend has her hands full with you, doesn't she, Mr. Temper? Yeah, she's not my girlfriend. Could I, uh, get another order of chicken, please? Coming up! Oh my gosh, your chicken's so good! It's like my chopsticks just kept going and I couldn't stop! <laughs> Glad to hear that, miss. And now she's my sunny personality. Here you go. On the house. Eat up. Wow, are you serious? Oh, no, we couldn't do that. <laughs> go on, enjoy! It's delish! Honestly? Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, don't mind if I... Are you kidding me with this? You ate it all? Sorry, it was an accident! Here you go, another order of chicken. <laughs> Never again! Yesterday. What? All you accomplished was hurting your back. Ha! <laughs> Come on, it had to be fun going for a whole day without being a loner, right? I think I made it clear from the very beginning that I had no problem spending the day by myself. Aw, look at you pretending you're not happy. Watch it. I've never been to a batting cage with my girlfriends before, so that was definitely a new and exciting experience for me. I need you to teach me how to swing soon, okay? Because next time I really want to send it flying. Hey, how about we go again today? I can't. I have work. Aww. <sighs> this little freak doesn't let pain get in the way of having fun. I've got a hand it to her for that. I wonder when it was that she became... this way. Like this? Or more like this? Well, I won't be bored. I can put up with her for a while, I guess. Yeah, next time, for sure. Uh, Sakurai? Hmm? Yesterday, oh, my back still hurts. It's all your fault, you know. Freezing! I'm not kidding. I mean, it even hurts to walk. You should carry me. Come on, please. Shut up! Slow jazz played at a moderate volume, warm, indirect lighting, and of course, the soothing aroma of coffee. Ever since I opened this cafe, I've tried to create the perfect ambiance. My goal is to provide a space where customers feel at ease. Ah, Sakurai, that man's about to come check out. Mind seeing to his bill? Huh? Whoa, nuts! How did you know he was gonna close out? Hmm. When you've been running a place for a decade, you just know. Sakurai started working at the cafe last year. He's pretty good. Sure, he looks like a tough guy, but he's attentive and understands how I run the place. No matter what problems arise... Oh! Hmm? That's the first time I've heard Sakurai shout. And it's such a volume. Wowzer, so this is where you work? Why didn't you tell me it was so close to school? Nice. A close friend, perhaps? I spotted you working through the window. I was on my way back from visiting my friend who happens to live around the corner. Anyway, I was hungry, so I figured I'd go for a quick snack. Get but... out! Why should I? Or maybe an enemy. This may be where I work part-time, but it's also a place to relax, so beat it! What's your problem? I just want to chill out here for a little bit. Plus, I'm starving. Find food somewhere else. Why are you so mean? Ugh, let me eat! I just want to be a paying customer! Not a chance. You'll ruin the mood. What? <clears throat> this is gross discrimination! No wonder you got no friends! I've got all I need! Well, it would be awkward if I stood up now. Boss? The name's Hana Uzuki down there, huh? 
Oh, not much. I'm checking our stock. So, Sakurai is obviously older than you. Are you in Elam Middle School? Oh, I'm a college student! Unfortunately, she's a year behind me. You were totally gonna say elementary school at first, weren't you? <laughs> Shorties like you must get that all the time. Shut up! No subject! Wait, is this true? I think he just went into shock. Hmm, he's usually so good at assessing people. After all my years in the cafe business, I thought I'd developed an astute eye. What is this madness? Ah! Now I see. You're an adult. Huh? Like I said, college. My impression of the owner has drastically changed in the last few seconds. I guess this spot is as good as any other. Go on, sit down. Feeling you're not giving me 100%? Just order. I am a legit customer now. Customer. Find it hard to believe this is how you always act at work. Unless you're completely hopeless when it comes to your job. Oh, I'm a top-notch waiter. Except when it comes to morons. Excuse me, sir! This employee is insulting me! You ought to give him a pay cut! For real! Shut your face! If you're not going to order, then get out! <laughs> These two are a delight. Such prime people watching. Some advice. You need to take work seriously no matter who you're serving, understand me? It's called professionalism. Yeah, because if I did take this seriously, you'd never stop making fun of me. No, I would never. <sighs> to be honest, it's sort of embarrassing when people I know see me playing the nice waiter. But this is so close to campus that people you know must drop by on the regular. Do you give them the same attitude that you're giving me? Oh. No, silly. This is just for you, because you're special. At the cafe, you damn idiot. Bad-mouthing me while post like that really sends mixed messages! Don't be rude, Sakurai. Why not show the girl what you can do? He's always so great with the customers. Fun. Here we go! Ha! Okay! I'll take one nice waiter, please! Start over, beginning with the water! You are infuriating. You know that. May I please take your order? No! <laughs> it's too good! I thought your resting thug face was bad! But this! That voice! So dumb! I can't take it! <laughs> so not fair, Sakurai! It's human nature to laugh when you know you're not supposed to! I knew this is what would end up happening from the beginning! I'm sorry! I can't control myself! I'm so hungry! In your <laughs> dreams! You can call it a day, Sakurai. I'll finish up here. It's getting late. Ah! See you next time. My stomach's gonna eat itself. Let's stop and get some food. I'm sure you have stuff at home. Lame. Then at least let me order something at the cafe next time. No problem. You can drop by again whenever I'm not working. What? I pinky promise I won't laugh again. Not even at that stupid smile. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> For real, though, that's a neat cafe. Oh. Yeah. Quiet, not too stylish. Hmm. Yep, I agree. I do like it. Laid back vibe and a quiet atmosphere. Hey, I know! Hmm? I should ask for a part time job there. Then we could be co workers. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be the best? Hmm. Hmm. I'd murder you. What's your problem? Sakurai, which is exactly what my heart needs. Huh? Ah, oh, hey, easy, come on. I just, I wanna... What? You're so cute! Ah, dang, those claws are sharp. <laughs> Stop, calm down. <laughs> hey, please. Pathetic. 
Why are you so alive this early in the morning? It's weird. Oh, hey, it's you. I found this stray cat in the road. It's not running away, so I thought I could pet it. Oh, it must be used to people. The thing won't let me give it any lovin's, though. It keeps scratching me. Then why do you have that goofy look on your face? Just look how cute it is. Yeah, sure. Well, I can see you're trying, but it's obvious you're a total beginner when it comes to animals. Cats are terrified of bigger beasties, so reaching down from overhead's a surefire way to spook them. That makes sense, I guess. Stay low to the ground and let them come to you. Aww, who's a good kid? Oh. Hmm. See? It couldn't be simpler when they're used to people. Yeah, sure. It might belong to a family in the neighborhood, or someone could put food out for it. Are you some kind of cat whisperer? I'd hope so. We have some at home. Two fur balls. Whoa, really? Do you want to drop by and say hello? Uh, I'd like to pet those cats, but a guy going to a girl's house alone raises eyebrows. So long, new friend. I bet the sound of the brakes scared it. Cats hate high-pitched noises like that. But if it lives around here, you'll see the kitty again, no doubt about it. All right, let's get to class. Woohoo! Bummed. No, I'm fine. I love animals, but my parents can't have them. They're not allowed at my place either. Truth be told, I've never had the chance to touch many kit cats. <sighs> That's easy to fix. I'll go catch that huh? one! It's definitely around here somewhere! An animal that tame won't travel too far from home base! No! I'm good, really! If I fail, we'll visit a cat cafe someday! Wait, hold on! <sighs> Found ya! <laughs> and please! You're mine, little kitty! <laughs> oh, man! Huh? Oh. Are you okay? Something happened to the cat? Uh, what the? Ah! What are you? I'm kind of stuck in some shrubbery. Put that ass away! Ah! That's a big idea! Oh crap, sorry. My bad. Did you just spank me? What's wrong with you? It's... And well, in that case, he stole my undies? Wait, bigger news, he touched my butt! Whatever, I'll interrogate him later. Look, could you please? Lend a girl a hand! Grab my hips and get me out of here! Oh, yeah, of course! Can't believe this girl! Whoa, 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 whoa! Bad idea! Stop! Why? New problem! My clothes are snagged, so there's a pretty high chance my boobs will pop out if you keep going! Please! Don't say the B word! Stay focused! Figure out what I'm stuck on! And he bought it, girl. Really? Oh, yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. Wow, you... Now a little to the left! Go your other left! Okay, just brace yourself, because I'm going to do it real hard! Hey, wait! No! You've got the wrong idea! What's taking you so long? For a second there, I wasn't sure how that was going to go. But you nailed the assist! We can- Someone please kill me. After we'll hit up the cat cafe! <laughs> Some other day. Huh? Hey, uh, are you eating solo? Oh, uh, hi. Huh? You good? It's hard to look her in the eye after what happened in the bushes. Oh, are you embarrassed to be eating alone again? Huh? Too bad. I've got my own plans today. Some people actually have more than one friend. I know you're lonely, but please don't cry. Oh, spare me! I happen to be eating with a friend, too. <laughs> How are you not burning yourself right now? You seriously have another friend? Why would you think I didn't? Oh, man! What an unexpected turn of events! I should probably go introduce myself to this angel, huh? Who are you, my mother? Leave us alone, idiot! What's this psycho up to now? 
Just eat your lunch. Seriously, what is she doing? She looks insane. That's why she's being ridiculous. So much attention to your phone that they got soggy. Oops. Appreciate your business. Have a good day. You thirsty? How's about a drink while you tidy up? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks so much. You're about halfway through college, right? How's it going? It's uh coming along. My daughter took all kinds of courses. Yet she loafs around all day. That sounds like a pretty nice life. Kind of jealous of her. I'm glad, though. She got her credits. That's one thing she won't regret. This setup sure is great. Slow jazz played at a moderate volume. The soothing aroma of coffee. It's almost like time flows more slowly here. A place like this eases the mind. While I'm at work! Aww, why are you always being so cruel to me? Besides, what's the point if you're not here? I couldn't wait one more minute to see you. Uh, why not? Did something happen, or...? My report is bad. Help me redo it. Huh? You need homework help? I'm desperate! You were always so good at writing. No can do. Why not? What's the problem? I'm working right now. Isn't it obvious? Then I'll wait. In that time, you could fix it yourself. I don't think I can revise it on my own. How did you even get into college? Come on, I'm begging you. Yeah, no. No time. Have a heart, Sakurai. Huh? This girl is your underclassman. She needs you. Your shift is done. Why don't you help her out right here? No. Oh. That's so nice. It's not like you'll bother anyone. The banter between them is too perfect. I can't wait for more. For my best employee and his close friend, Gratis. <laughs> it's a very kind gesture, but you really didn't have to do that. Yummy! What a generous boss! <laughs> you can eat when you finish your work. Such a taskmaster. There's not that much to do. Take a look at this part sentence. It's too grade schooly. Change, I think, to it's currently believed or it's considered to be true that. Okay. You need to learn to write the way your professors expect you to. Now me, I'd pad the word count with personally speaking. It feels though blah, blah, blah. Interesting. Fix that section and the only thing left is your closing statement. Should be easy to wrap up. Oh, right. Uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Could you concentrate for two seconds? You're a mess. Wouldn't it be fun if I came over to your place? Absolutely not. That was quick. Why would you even ask me that? I want to see where you live. Yeah, that's not happening. My home life is not for your entertainment. I'll be so... Gotta avoid this. I have no reason to let you into my place. Sure you do. You said you lived alone, that right? So, you can save a crap ton of money if I cook you dinners. Plus, I'll be super close to campus in the mornings. The pros completely outweigh the cons. You gotta be kidding me. I can't imagine your cooking is edible. My food is delish. That's a bad excuse. Yeah, yeah. Less talk, more revising. <clears throat> Hold up. I think we need to rewind a few steps. Huh? You said my place is close to campus. How does that help you? 
Well, since it's so convenient, I figure I could sleep. You're not spending the night? No way. You must be out of your freaking mind. I don't understand why you sound mad. <clears throat> because, look, I'm not upset. It's just what you said. Is there an issue? Letting you into my apartment is one thing. But for a girl... You don't want to do it? I... What? But we can beat video games! Co-op play all night long! Huh? You dummy! I know you've been killing that new game without me. You're on my friends list! Uh, I see you online. I'll just start popping by after class so we can play any old day of the week. <laughs> you idiot! Moron! Fool! Why are you so mean to me? How can you be so I opened this cafe to get a glimpse into different sorts of lives and relationships, but these two are the best. I could watch them forever. If Sakurai quits, the show will be over. Perhaps I should give him a raise. Sakurai Shinichi started working here part-time last year. He looks a little scary, but he takes his work seriously, and our regulars only have good things to say about him. But most of all, that boy is fine. Oh, I can't stop staring. Look at him, he's basically perfect. He looks thin, but he's got some real muscles under there. Excuse me, handsome. We're ready to check out now. Uh... I doubt he's even noticed this, but he has plenty of fans around here. Gosh, you're so tall, Sakurai. How tall are you? Uh, about 5'11". Well, that's impressive. Have you ever played any sports? Just the swim team in high school. Oh my, how interesting! I love it! Yes! Great questions, ladies! And swimmers are so hot. Look at me picking up juicy tidbits here at work. I'm making so much progress. Your heart doesn't really seem to be in it today, Ami. Huh? Getting lost in thought is normal. But try to remember, you are on the clock. You gotta be careful when doing busy work. You could easily lose track of what you're doing. Right. I'm sorry. I understand your interest, though. Now go ahead and clear that empty table, okay? Thanks, Dad. I will. Dad has this way of coming across all gentle and sweet, even when he's being strict as heck. But how can I concentrate when fate brought Sakurai and me together today? <laughs> So, back again, huh? Don't you have anything better to do? Well, I could ask you the same thing, working this hard on a Sunday and all. Wait, what? Who's this? Hello there, Hana. Uh -huh. Dad knows her too? Up top, yeah! All right! Ugh, remember your dignity. Peak time's just ended, so it's pretty slow. Sit wherever. A sophomore. Uh, she's in college? Almost forgot! I brought that game you lent me. Cool, did you like? They must be close if they borrow each other's stuff. I'll admit, that final act was a real shocker. Here I thought it was an entirely different game, but when I found out it was kind of a sequel to the last one, it was like Goosebump City. Oh yeah, for sure, right? I mean, I would have been happy playing just a plain old building game, but it turned out to be such a crazy good find. I just had to get it out there, you know what I mean? What's this? Since when is he such good friends with a girl? No, he can't be. Oh, those two? <laughs> Dad, what's with a chuckle? It's nothing, Pumpkin. Bring her some water, would you? Here you are. I appreciate it. I guess we go to the same school. My name is Ami Asai. I'm a senior. It's good to meet you. How cool that you're the senior here. Be right back. I'm gonna go put this in my bag. Hmm. Hana Usuki. I'm a sophomore. <laughs> <sighs> now that I get a good look at her, she's this adorable baby animal vibe. But she's definitely not a baby. I mean, wowzer, what the? This girl's a beast. Okay, come on, get it together. <clears throat> you and Sakurai seem like you get along great. Oh, yeah, I guess we do. How long have you known each other? We were in the same club in high school. The water on Uzuki's table's getting low. Guess I should get it. He's always been a big gloomy face with an evil twinkle in his eye. 
he was a hard person to get to know. Even now, in college, he's gotten no better. I mean, he still skulks around like a loner, so I do my best to look out for him. Ah, so that's how it is, huh? Well, just call me over whenever you're ready to order, Hana. Okay. What do you think? She's just so good. I know you want to stick your nose in their business, but I feel like we really shouldn't interfere, you know? It's just hard not to want to guide them along a bit. I agree. Don't you love the service industry? You get to be a fly on the wall and watch people... Here's your water, Uzuki. Ah! Oh, man, that's cold! Ugh, Sakurai, where the heck did you come from? That's my line, you ass! Customers are supposed to sit there patiently. I was bringing the water to the table! Oh, don't give me that crap! You haven't been treating me like a real customer anyway! Just shut up! Wow, they put on quite a show, don't they? You're telling me I've got to start taking more shifts. No, oh, maybe give them a towel. What? So he didn't come into work at all because he's down with a cold? Yep, Sakurai gave me a call first thing this morning. Told him to take the day off. Probably the result of the eye sweater drenching yesterday and the fact that it got so cold last night. How about that? So much for the whole, oh yeah, I work out tough guy thing he does. Surprisingly fragile, that one. Oh yeah, I train. I don't, I don't get, get it. it. Why, Why doesn't, doesn't she have, have a cold, cold then? then? In that case, sir, check, please. That's... Did colds always hit this hard? I mean, do I need medicine? Uh, I guess I should try to eat something first. Uh, but I can't seem to move. Uh, what now? Damn, what a racket. Who the heck is here? They're lucky I even managed to get myself out of bed. Hey, sicko! A little bird told me you have a cold. I'm here to pay you a visit. Oh, Uzuki. What? How do you know where I live? Uh. 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 Oh, no. Hey, are you okay there? Uh, are you asleep? Wowee, that's a bad cold. Yeah. Well, looks like I've let her in my place after all. Who was it? Who told you where I live? Oh, was that wrong? <sighs> Since I finally found out where he lived, I thought maybe we could do some gaming or whatever. He brags about stamina, but a cold kicks his butt. <laughs> Figures. That does it. Sakurai, have you seen a doctor? No, I can't move. Any meds? No, haven't been able to buy any. Then you haven't eaten either. Well, all right then. Don't worry, leave this to me. Uh... This one's probably best for his symptoms. A cold calls for leaks. Sit up? Uh, uh, Good, then try to eat, even if it's just a few bites. <gasps> it was a real adventure. Oh, now, open up! I, uh, I can feed myself. <laughs> Would you stop? It's good. I know, right? Well, honestly, I'm not tasting things very well right now. But it's probably good. Probably, huh? That's just great. Sorry. See? My cooking is totally edible. Thanks. Wow, eating really warmed me up. You've got a good sweat going on. Excellent. <clears throat> now strip. No way. Oh, yes way. Wipe yourself down and change clothes. You're stinking up the place. It's fine. I'm just going to take my meds and sleep. Hey, now. Don't you even try to fight me. You 
You've got really nice skin, my little patient. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. No weird role play. Too late to be shy now. You must be used to going around half naked from swimming. Look, I can do the front myself. <laughs> Who knew being taken care of could actually be so tiring? Okay, here's your medicine. If you take this, you should be all better in the morning. But if you're still feeling awful tomorrow, make sure you go see a doctor. Got it. Is that really the time? You should go on home. I'll be fine from here on out. Yep, as soon as you're asleep, I will. I'll put the key in your door's mail slot on my way out so you can rest easy. Wow, you really do that? <laughs> yeah, no sweat! I'll just play one of your games in the meantime. You're nuts. But, so thanks. Oh, stop, come on. That's just the way we are with each other, you know? Hmm. Sakurai, wake up! I can't figure out how to beat this bald scissors, dude! His shields explode when I hit him with my blade and it sucks! I'll lend you the game and the console if you'll just go! Uh, I can't go home, I'm a loser! Will you please let me sleep? Hey, Ami. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, thanks, I am. Sorry about that, I know you had to cover my shift. Oh, it's fine. I was free yesterday, no biggie. Well, thanks anyway. Hey, why don't I take one of your shifts soon? I have to thank you somehow. In that case, Hana should come by. Huh? I guess I'll ask. And now, a toast to Sakurai's swift recovery! To health! To, to health. health! Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Barbecue to celebrate my recovery? Oh, no. Here's some chuck and some tripe and some skirt and some salted tongue. Hey, slow down. That's too much. Short ribs, knuckle, ribeye. I'll eat what I want. <laughs> I'm getting some vibes here. She does seem genuinely happy to see Sakurai feeling so much better. Mm. Look at you two knocking them back. I mean, are beer and liquor really that tasty? Yeah, especially when paired with good eats. The right flavors can change the entire palate of a meal. Hooray! Now that that's settled, it's time for you to eat up, mister. Will you stop? <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna hit the restroom. I really am glad you're feeling better, Sakurai. Thanks. I'm sorry I had to miss work. Felt kind of bad about that. Well, don't. I'm just happy Hana was able to take such good care of you. Okay. So it was you who told her where I lived, huh? And how'd it go? How'd what go? Meat is totally unfair. And just so you know, it's not like that with me and Uzuki. I'm pretty into my quiet solo lifestyle, so I don't want anyone over if I can help it. And Uzuki is basically the polar opposite of quiet. So gloomy! So gloomy! Sakurai, that's just sad. No, it's really not. These two have had a lot to drink. Besides, Uzuki may be a trusted friend and all, but she's still a girl. If rumors start flying about her coming to my place all the time, it'll only make unnecessary trouble for her. I live very close to campus, so someone could easily see her there. This, this is, is so complicated. complicated. I had an inkling, but this? This is a lot. What a pain. I was already fully aware, but still, still! Dad? Right. This will only get juicier if we just let it be. It's like coffee, Ami. Slowly roasted, painstakingly brewed. Let's just be patient and watch it unfold. Oh, what you been talking about? Huh? Oh, uh... We were chatting about some work stuff for tomorrow. That's right. Ah, gotcha. We'll be getting in a shipment of beans and some other heavy boxes. Think you could come in a little early, Sakurai? Yeah, sure thing, Ami. Huh? Thanks. It'll be helpful to have another set of strong arms around. Wait, what was going on just now? I mean, between you and your dad. Uh, we really love those beans. Sure, okay. Hey, is something wrong? It's just, I see you call Ami by her first name. Huh? 
If I used her last name, she'd get mixed up with her dad. Hmm, if you say so. Hey, I spent a long time grilling that. What gives? Come on. Uh, wait, are you mad at me? Mm, You're drama with, with a sunrise. Rice. Why the hell would Uzuki want to meet me here? Seems so random. Why? Did I do something to piss her off? Uh, Sakurai. Just keep your eye on this 5 yen coin. You are getting very sleepy. So sleepy. Hypnosis? Seriously? Now what's she trying to pull? You will do exactly as I say. Do as I say. I don't know what she's after with this, but she did take care of me before. Fine, I'll play along. Whoa, I sure am feeling super sleepy. Oh, right! I guess it's true. Simple people really are the easiest ones to hypnotize. Who are you calling simple, damn it? Okay, let's do this. Here we go. I hope it's nothing too crazy. You will call me by my first name. Huh? That's it? That's what she hypnotized me for? Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. She's waiting for it. <laughs> I guess I have to. Huh? 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 Huh, no. Nope. That's not it. Huh, no. Uh-uh. Honey. Still no. Honey. Would you please try? Uh, fine. Hana. <laughs> again. Hana. Again. Hana. Oh, yes, again. Hana. Again. You couple suck. Hana. Love struck again. dorks. Hana. Wow. So that's how it works. That seemed to go really well. Yeah, I'm totally fascinated. I might just have a real knack for hypnosis. Afraid not. But if that's all it takes to make her happy. Okay, next. Next? I'd like to have you buy me something to drink. Yes. And ice cream from the Quick Mart. Hold on there. Also, treat me to lunch at the dining hall. Make it stop. Oh, let's have you buy me the latest VR setup. Stop pushing your luck! Hey, that's no fair pretending to be hypnotized. Says the girl taking advantage of the hypnotized. The heck are you trying to do? I mean, you, I've known you for a pretty long time now, you know? Then I get, hey, you. Rude way to be, don't you think? I see. I was clueless. I didn't even realize I'd made you feel bad. I'm sorry. For real. Huh? But, uh, I've always been uncomfortable with... Like using girls' first names. Ami told me to call her that for work, so I'm doing my best. Please, just not that, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I mean, I don't want to force you or anything, Mr. Gloomyhead. <clears throat> Thanks for that. Still hypnotizing with a 5 yen coin in this day and age? No way was that gonna work, right? It worked? Are you kidding me right now? You must have zero resistance or something! He's floating through the sky. It isn't working. Look, what are you talking about? I already told you I wasn't hypnotized. It's frightening uh. that you can't remember. I was never hypnotized. Trust me, it would be a big deal for me if I actually was. Okay, but why do you sound ticked off? I am not ticked off! Dad, could it be? Yep. They say it's impossible to hypnotize someone unless they trust you completely. Which means these two... It certainly does look that way. Let's, Let's not, not tell, tell him. him. This, this is, is fun. If I'm not ticked off, I think you know it! Whatever. You totally are. Hey! What should we do next? Oh, Sakurai, before I forget, we'll be taking a family trip to a hot spring over Golden Week, so you'll have time off. Uh. Hey, why not take advantage of the long holiday and maybe go on a little vacation yourself? <sighs> hmm. It wasn't a bad suggestion. 
But yeah, playing video games for 72 hours straight is more my style. No way. Am I at the final boss? Here goes. Does she think I didn't hear it the first time? There you are! What's up? Yep, her. Are you free today? I mean, you totally are, right? All this popping over unannounced is a bit much. Would you stop? I knew you were off work, so I figured a loner like you would be home gaming rather than taking a vacay, and look, I was right! Awesome. Good for you. So anyways, I decided to take pity on you and come by to hang out so you won't be alone on a holiday. Stop being condescending. It's pissing me off. Anyway... Look, Doramon, go! You want to play with me? That's still a video game! There's this big spawning event during Golden Week. We could catch them all together! I'm just too embarrassed to play by myself, okay? <laughs> Called it! <laughs> Man, I can read you just like a freaking book! Why'd you turn it off? I thought we were gonna play together! <laughs> This'll take all day. And again? Why not? Please, come on! <sighs> what the hell? I'm bored. Count me in. Excellent! <gasps> I found a lousy cat! Hey, check this out! A cat! Huh? huh? Oh, wow. You look like crap. <clears throat> Too much gaming. I mean, it's one thing to be all scowly, but walking around in public with that face? You'll get reported. Stop being so dramatic. Why did I do this? Hey, you sure seem to be catching a lot. And dull gorillas. <laughs> yeah, they just keep popping up. Ugh, my eyes. Hurts to look at the screen. Huh? Oh! Maybe we should go buy you some glasses then. Hello, welcome. Is that... Ami? Uh, oh my gosh. Fancy running into you two. Your eyes hurt from gaming. Makes sense. I bet he's gonna go crazy if this keeps up. You're the crazy one here. Does this mean that the whole time we were gone, the only thing you did was game? Afraid so. And he'd probably still be holed up with a controller if I hadn't come along. I can't deny it. I know! Since she's already here and all, why don't you ask Ami to be your glass assistant? My glass assistant? Sure thing. Do you know what you want? Yeah, the loner indoorsman game addict here needs those things. Computer glasses! Oh, right. They're the ones that cut down on the blue light that displays put off. Yeah, these are supposed to keep your eyes from getting too tired. I've actually always wanted a pair myself. I have to admit, that does sound good for long gaming sessions. Interesting. These lenses have kind of a yellowish tint to them. So they're like low-key sunglasses, huh? <gasps> you look really good in st- Hmm. Oh, nice. Okay, should we try some others? Totally! <laughs> Which ones? How about these? Like I'm some kind of doll. Those are perfect for you! Why do you say that? Because they hide your big scary glare mug so you look more like a normal person! Would you stop it with the glare mug? Not cool! Now that I think about it, you should probably wear these at work and school too. Oh, shut up! Hey, what do you think about these? <laughs> You know, Ami's messing with me, too. That's great. Oh, wow. So good. Mind if I take a little picture? I definitely do. Say cheese. <laughs> Actually, don't bother. I can't hold the phone still enough for a shot because I'm laughing way too hard. Just knock it off. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec. I need you to try these on for me next, okay? You're already <laughs> laughing about them. <laughs> No way! Where were these? I'm putting them back. Hold on! You gotta do something first, pretty please. Please brush your hair straight back with those little round glasses on just once for me. Only one time, I swear. Such an embarrassingly trophy character. I just have to see that! <laughs> I don't exist for your amusement, you know. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Here, try on this last pair. These are a serious suggestion. Okay? Uh, yeah, fine. All right, now make a fist. 
and raise your arm. Open your mouth a little. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that was so funny, I can barely stand it. <laughs> hey, Hanno, why don't you pick out your own glasses while we're here? Great idea. <laughs> What'll it be? Geez, which one? These are pretty nice. Yeah, I do like a pink frame, but I don't know. Let's see. I'm feeling these red ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sakurai, come over here and check. What do you say? <laughs> Strangely enough, you look dumber. Seriously? Hey, I was complimenting you earlier. Did you forget about that? Right, then you called me a mafioso, so I'd say that kind of makes it a wash. Wait a nitpick. That's what you are, you know. You're a mean nitpicker. You're the one who needs to watch what she says and does. You got that? Well, you're the one who's always angry for basically no reason. You're such a moron. You ask for it. Only a moron calls someone a moron, moron. You just said it yourself, moron. How dumb are well, you? You said it first, moron, moron, moron. Do you think they're going to be all right? <laughs> yep. You're always like that. Man, I missed out on getting glasses, and it's all your fault, Mr. Grouch. Oh, got a lousy cat dandy. It's not my fault. You just had to start something. <sighs> Another gorilla. Don't you dare try to dump all the blame on me just because you're older. That's an abuse of power. When who started it to begin with, you little brat. Great, nothing but gorillas. Look, you know what your problem is? <laughs> Thank you for that. It's, uh, it's cool. Looks like a lot of people are getting on. Good. With this game, the more people there are around you, the higher the monster spawn rate. You see? I just got a lousy cat cyborg. Still nothing but gorillas here. You have a thing for gorillas, don't you? Don't lie. Very funny. No, I don't. They seem to like me. Well, it doesn't matter either way, as long as we get to where we're going. And the next station, and the following station. Now it's crazy crowded. Oh, right. I think there might be a soccer match today at a stadium nearby. There it is. <laughs> Oops, pardon me. <laughs> it's okay. Can't really help it in all this. This is bad. And at this rate, it's gonna get worse. I can't even budge. Crap. I'm gonna have to grin and bear it. <laughs> Calm down. Chill out. Think of something else and pull yourself together. You okay? Yeah, it's nothing. Just ignore me. Why is that ad in here? Gotta get my mind on something else pronto. Sakurai? I'm fine. Totally fine. Why do there have to be traps everywhere? I see nothing. I hear nothing. I'll turn my consciousness inward. What's wrong with him? Got so quiet all of a sudden. Oh, he has long eyelashes. His face is so close. Picture it now. A clear blue sky. We're going to look back on this and laugh together someday, I think. <laughs> a field stretching as far as the eye can see. Isn't your arm getting a little tired like that? There's no need to overdo it. Aren't you gonna say anything? I can do this. I can make it through. I know I can! Oh! With my eyes closed and my focus inward, it's like my other senses are heightened! <sighs> well, that was something. Thanks for blocking me from that big guy. What? Sakurai? What is happening? Is he out cold on his feet? Please find the door. Hey, wait! This is our stop! Come back! Come back! Well, now what? Where the heck am I? Wait, what time is it even? <clears throat> oh. Looks like I've missed about a million calls from Uzuki. Uh. So that's how your golden week went. <laughs> 
interesting. Yeah. Okay, no laughing. And anything else? And nothing. I blacked out before it got to that point. What? If she was gonna make me feel that way, I figured I'd just be better off unconscious. I see. <laughs> Quite a feat to be able to turn his mind on and off at will. Poor pitiful kid. Well, I don't think you should worry too much about what happened between you. After all, you're so young. Enjoy life while you can. I mean, I'm sure my Ami is hanging out with boys now and again, right? Where'd that come from? I'm not. See? What did I just say? Hold on. You're not? Correct. What? I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Wow. Who would have thought something so hilarious, I mean, terrible happened to you guys? You just said it was hilarious. An unfortunate choice of words. I mean, she invited you. It's only polite after all. Hmm. Guess you're right. I don't know what's up, but I will not engage. Too much trouble. Stop with the inner struggle and come talk to me, Sakurai. She's engaging me. Did something happen? I looked at the calendar and it hit me. What? It's bad. No holidays in June. That's why you're so down? What's the big deal about that? You've still got weekends off. Well, sure, I guess, but the longer breaks are so much better, don't you think? Just get over it. I can't help it. A three-day break really winds you up, you know? Besides, I get so depressed thinking about this crappy weather sticking around for a whole other month. That's fair. But after the rainy season comes the summer break. But not before exams. <gasps> I want to go have fun! <sighs> Weekend. You mean it? Don't startle me like that! You startled me! The same old loner of a dude suggesting we go somewhere has hell frozen over? It must be a freaking glacier now! Could you be any more confusing? It's probably raining because you screwed up the weather. <laughs> Look, you gotta calm down because I can't make heads or tails of this conversation. If the weekend doesn't work for you, then never mind. I'll go! Okay, good. Well, you have any place in mind? Yeah, I know! How about another outing by train? Sounds fun. Uh. <sighs> What's up? Your face is red. Nothing. But no trains, though. Then do you mind if I just throw something together? No. Please do. Hey! This is gonna be awesome! <laughs> that is one frightening laugh. It's not every day that you invite me out, you know. Yeah, well... To be honest, I felt pretty bad about what happened over Golden Week, so... Aw, is that true? Yeah. And I was telling Ami about it, and she said I should follow up... Not angry. Uh, yeah. You totally are. Nope, not in the slightest. Oh, come on. Look, if I were mad, you would definitely know it, Kay! Huh? What the hell's going on? <laughs> and it's pouring. Forget going out. I hope she hasn't left yet. Uh. Oh, hey. I was just about to call you. I figured if it was gonna rain the whole day, I may as well play games at your place. I thought I'd cook, so I did a little shopping, but then it started coming down even harder. By the time I left the store, it was a disaster. I appreciate it, but don't go overboard. Can I borrow your shower? Oh, and a change of clothes? Man, I guess I shouldn't have worn my favorite shirt today, huh? Uh, any chance you'd care to join me? Uh, would you just go? <laughs> Honestly. It's ginormous! <laughs> okay, I'll go get lunch started before we start playing. Thanks, that sounds like a good plan. I don't have any good cookware here, so I've decided I'm gonna give you my old pot. Is that cool? Wow, yeah, that's incredibly nice of you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so first... Need help? Oh, I know you're not a cook. How about washing the veggies? Yeah, sure. What's up? You're so obedient right now. It just seems like everything's been going wrong for you today, so I thought, 
you know. <laughs> it's fine, and I'm a good cook. <laughs> you said you couldn't taste the yummy grub I made for you when you were sick, so if I'm being perfectly honest, there might be a little score settling in the mix. Yeah, I'm really sorry I said that now. Well, my cooking will have your unsophisticated palate moaning in ecstasy. And once again, you've jumped right over the line. Which game? that! Come on, let's work together to build something totally out there! What a great way for a college student to completely waste a day off. <laughs> <laughs> You ready to be a useless human? You've been one all along, so you've taught me well. Back off, you! too much to finish our build in one day. It did get torn down a few times, but we'll work on it the next time you're over. Next time? Really? What? Enough with that scary laugh, you weirdo. Don't forget about the pot of curry. Put it in the fridge just like it is, okay? Mm, thanks, I will. It'll taste even better. After sitting overnight, I mean. You know, I've heard that. Is it true? Yes, you have to let it sit overnight so the roux will soak into the meat and veggies, which then releases their umami components, amino acids, sugars, into the roux. That's how you get a richer umami flavor all throughout the curry. It's a total must. I'm sorry me. I asked. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Good, I'm glad. Even though today's batch was already plenty good. <laughs> so could I. You said we could keep working on the build next time, so how about if we do that tomorrow? <clears throat> oh, you want to pick up where we left off today? Sure, I mean, God knows I'm free. That's awesome! <laughs> well then, bye! Guess I'll see you in a bit. Yep. I'm sorry. I seem to have left my train pass back at your place. <sighs> you are something else. I can't believe it's already summer. <laughs> well, I guess it's that sweaty time of year again, huh? Maybe you wouldn't sweat if you weren't so hyper. Hey, I had an idea. Yeah, what's that? It's just, I was wondering if I could come over to your place. What? Again? Well, yeah. I can see you're not grasping how committed I am to Uziki Hills and the deep fear I have of you building more without me. I so won't. Creepy old tower. Thing looks like an evil emperor's hangout. Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? Stuff to the brim with only the best? That's my dream house. So you're telling me you'd set up a lava moat in your own house? Oh, right, that. That's so I'm prepared if you decide to drop by and visit. <clears throat> now you want to trap me? Trap? Crazy cat! What the heck are you doing up here? Don't worry, I'm coming to get you. Just stay right there and be a good... See? You're okay. Uh, uh, crap! Uh, uh, no! Uh, uh, whoa, was I dreaming? Well, duh, I guess. I must have nodded off. Then woke back up in a panic. That hasn't happened in a while. Man, I really hope no one else saw him. Seriously? Why is it always her? Stop! Turn around! We're in the middle of class! Aw, good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead. 
Let me guess, were you falling in your dream and then you suddenly woke up? Cause you totally jolted awake. Try not to nod off, Grandpa. I'm so happy I got to witness this moment. God, you are so annoying. Look, just shut it. Class has started, okay? Oops, my bad. How many of you are familiar with the idea of dream interpretation? Falling from a great height, for example, can indicate deep-seated conscious or subconscious feelings of anxiety. Uh, or somebody anxious? Don't worry. I hope you know you can tell me anything. Safe space. Would you shut up? It's also common to dream of falling when one is in very high spirits and may be getting carried away. This can be interpreted as a warning to put one's... Uh-oh, are you getting carried away? Seriously, shut up. Hey! Don't get too excited, okay? Gotta keep those feet on the ground, my broski! Look who's talking! Oh my gosh, the timing of that lecture was amazing! It was so hilarious! Didn't expect to have your deepest psyche laid bare in class, did ya? Whatever, I'm not a kid. I don't believe in that stuff anyway. Maybe it was juvenile. Well, I'm more of a believer, I guess. Psychological tests, blood type fortunes. Pure superstition, all of it. That's not what actual psychology is about. Sure, that's easy to say, but I bet you believe it a little bit. <laughs> nope, sorry. Come on, psychologically speak. Uh, Phew. Nice catch there, buddy. Oh, that was scary. That's what happens when you're more focused on riling someone up than watching your step. Mind your business. Huh, just had a thought. About what? People who climb downstairs can develop climacophobia, the fear of climbing. What? Wow, where the heck did that come from all of a sudden? It's like an aftershock. Oh yeah? It's commonly known as the stair yips. You'll just be navigating stairs as usual when one day you realize you can't seem to get down them smoothly anymore. Or you tumble <laughs> until at last you find that you're terrified of the very stairs themselves. I don't want to hear that! Hey! Cause I have plans with that guy. Aww. Maybe next time, okay? Man, good timing there, dude. They were relentless. Wait, what gives? You running away? To tell you the truth, I've never... So many people drink way too much. I prefer to be a bit more chill, huh? So sober me is usually stuck cleaning up the mess. Yeah, I'm not into that either. Sakaki's getting away. Aren't we following him? Hmm. I don't know. That other guy's scary. I get that. It's the eyes. Yeah, right? Those two are together a lot, though. Must be friends. So what's up? Kind of feels like I barely saw you around at all last month. Yeah. I popped over to Okinawa. What? But we weren't on break. Eh. I had a sudden urge to see the ocean. Wow, must be nice. What about you, Saku? Anything happen while I was gone? Nope. Uh, I mean... No, nothing. What even was that? This last month is kind of impossible for me to put into words. What happened? Life. Of gaming and stuff like that. I kept pretty busy, I guess. Stop! Can't you just let go and get a little wild for once in your life? I've been hanging out with you for three years, and your life is so boring I can hardly take it. You're a bummer, dude. You know we only get four years of college, and you're totally wasting them. Find a girl, man. There it is. Why do you always say that? There is no time for drinking! What the heck? Dude, you just gave it to me. Shut up! Idiots like you who waste their youth are infuriating! Hey, Sakurai! Huh? There you are. I was trying to find you. Who's this? Might this person be... No way. Is it possible he's... Your friend? Yeah, that's right. What?! So wait, you're saying... You really do have a friend? I mean, I know you talked him up and all. Gotta be honest though, I definitely thought he was imaginary. What are you saying, moron? You totally saw me eating with him in the dining hall. Yes, I remember that. I thought you were just pretending he was your friend. Thank goodness! You quit with that look! Oh right, you're the same girl I've seen with Saku now and then, aren't you? Hi there, the name's Sakaki. I'm a junior too. Hanaka Uzuki, sophomore! Sakurai is a hardcore gloom lord, but I hope you guys have fun together anyway. Will you please get out of here? 
Listen, I don't want you to worry. I'll promise I'll still keep hanging out with you. So, where are we gonna go after class today? Why are you saying that as if my schedule's already booked? Huh? Because I said I wanted to hang out at your place. You want to come over again? Well, think about it. If you're always hanging out with your one male friend, people are definitely going to talk. I mean, you guys will be fan art before you know it. Who exactly are you worried about anyway? Who cares what other people think? Also, your random assumption that I only have one male friend is pretty freaking stupid. Come on, don't feel like you have to show off now. What? I'm not. So hey, that's it. how it is. Uh-oh, uh that's my cue. Off to class. See ya. No, you won't. <laughs> She's nice. I guess, kinda. Oh, Saku. You dog. <laughs> it's not like that. Hey, don't worry, I get you. Don't play dumb with me. Don't, don't be bashful. I'm your wingman for life. I've got your back. Oh, that's great. Another giant pain in my ass. What sort of thing are you after? Romantic? Erotic? Oh, this summer is gonna be so lit. Yes, I rock! Ah, damn it. Hey, what's up, guys? Very little. She's right. So, how long have you two known each other? She went to my high school. We were both in the same club. Huh, a pretty long time then. You could say that. Yeah, for sure. So, you've spent a lot of time together. You fool around? Okay, listen. This guy looks good, but he's actually the worst, isn't he? That a no? Of course it is! It's not something you talk about, and we wouldn't tell you if we did. Not even a little. No, never! Not at all? Not at all! Huh? Uh, oh, never mind. Wait, what? It's just between us, so if you don't know, I guess it doesn't count. It's okay. No, this is not okay! Tell me! Yep, what did I, do? I called Where? it. When? Ah, shut up! This is a form of harassment! Now you're mad, and I don't even know why! Him too! This is sexual harassment! Just drop it! Sorry, sexual harassment. Not that I'm worried. I mean, Sakurai's probably the safest creature in the world. Okay, when you put it like that, it sounds like an insult. Again, sorry. The thing is, in all these years, I've never heard any romantic tales about Saku before. Seeing Mr. Sirius here with a real-life girl piqued my interest. Perfectly understandable. But the truth is, he's simply a gloomy klutz of a sleepyhead villain loner, so I just try to keep him company. Who's a gloomy klutz of a sleepyhead villain loner? I like to spend my time quietly by myself, that's all. You bounce off each other well. And it's not just me, I bet everyone thinks so. You know how people are. Oh, those two must be dating. Haven't you heard that a ton by now? But in this case, we're not. Okay, you're not yet. I accept that. Come on, let's go grab some ice cream. My treat. Really? Woohoo! <laughs> Did they just run away? This wasn't the reaction I expected. I pictured something a little less complicated. But it's not that he simply dislikes her. What is it then? Hmm. Got a sec? And who are you? I'm Iasai. I'm a senior and a friend of those two. I'm Sakaki and in his class. What's up? Sakaki? What the heck was that? What do you mean? We were only having a friendly convo. Why? Were you listening in? You totally should have joined us. You took it way too far. Teasing those two is one thing, but come on! Did you have to be so blatantly obvious about it? I thought I was just putting out some feelers. I got shut down, though. Well, I'm looking after those two, and I won't let anyone shove them off course. Doing things your way can end up nipping their love in the bud before it gets started. You have to watch it from a distance with no unnecessary prying. I get it. So it sounds to me like you're rooting for them too, huh? Convince me. It's good to know we both want them together. That being the case, how about we team up? Seriously, at this point, I'd do anything for those two. No way! What? Have I given you the impression that I need anyone's help? Quit meddling, you got that? And what part of me wanting to just observe them on my own do you not understand? It's not quite rocket science! Uh, you sound pretty unhinged, lady. I will not let you meddle indiscriminately in their very delicate business! Jeez, you're a pain! I'd say you both are. Hey, don't you want to share this with me? Here you go. Aww, you sure you don't want a bite? Come on, no need to be shy. I mean, after all, you bought them. 
take one. Hmm? That color package could only be one thing. Chocolate mint, right? Is that really any good? Oh, yeah, chocolate mint is delicious. I've just always heard it's like... I mean, the flavor. Isn't it just toothpaste? I want you to look me right in the eye and tell me that again. Wait, what? I... Seriously, I was just wondering if Choco Mint was good, because it sounds like toothpaste to me. There it is! You suck! That is always what people say when they're mocking Choco Mint lovers! But I'm not mocking anything. Oh yes, you certainly are, and it started when you compared it to toothpaste! Because for some reason, even though it's your garbage palette's fault you can't eat Choco Mint, you cowards are always so quick to slam the mint! Oh weird, is that just toothpaste? Then, inevitably, these stupid jerks always go, no way that can be good, and why don't you just eat toothpaste then? Moron! Toothpaste isn't something you eat! Can you even imagine it, Sakura? How infuriating it is to be mocked by idiots who don't know the difference between toothpaste and food! Uh, no. But you know what I really can't stand? The sheer arrogance of those people who think it's actually okay to persecute whatever they don't understand! That's right! We Choco Mintians have been abused for far too long! Choco Mintian? We've suffered abuse and stems from a lack of understanding! When Choco Mint as ice cream first made its way to Japan from distant continent flavor... And yet, we Choco Mintians amidst much bias and prejudice slowly grew in number thanks to many years of effort. Now the flavor's praised as invigorating, even social media worthy! With more cafes serving delicious Choco Mint sweets and more varieties of Choco Mint yumminess on grocery store shelves with every passing year! Even so, the palate poor anti Choco Mint brigade still chooses ignorance! Rise, oh Choco Mintians! Turn your sadness into anger and take your stand! You hate it! Admit it! Think about this! It sucks when people mock your favorite game when they've never played and know nothing about it, isn't that true? Well, yeah, it does. Besides, you've got the whole thing backwards! I want you to listen carefully. Mint does not taste like toothpaste. Toothpaste tastes like mint, idiot! Wow, she is seriously pissed. Never mind those losers with no taste! I will love Chuckle Mint until I die! Thank you so much, Yummy Chuckle Mint! For the very first bite, the sharp, refreshing mint flavor fills every part of your mouth. And that bright yet somehow soothing feeling makes you want to take another bite immediately, no matter what anyone says. Choco Mint is life! Brava. Glad you were able to get that off your chest. Oh, yeah. I think everyone's free to hate what they want. But don't diss what someone else likes, you know? Mind your own beeswax. Though you did mock my solo movies, remember? To be fair, that was just because I never dreamed that you could possibly be one of those lower life forms. Over one lousy ice cream? I could just never handle mint as a kid. So anything with that cooling sensation, gum, cough drops, forget it. To this day, I even use non-mint toothpaste. But the cooling sensation's the best part! With a sweet chocolate chaser? I mean, are you kidding me? That's the whole thing about Choco Mint! What is wrong with you? Anyway, since I can't seem to do mint... Uh, I'll admit, I haven't tried Choco Mint. <sighs> You're one of them! Those who dare to mock Choco Mint and taste it like utter fools! You turd! Alright, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry! I get it. It all stems from childhood trauma. But you should be good to go now. I mean, it's not like you're a child anymore, so... They do say your sense of taste changes as you grow up. Maybe. I don't know. You want to try one just to see? Why the hesitation? You'll be fine. I promise it's not too intense or anything. What? Are you really scared? Uh, Come on, Yuri. No, but your eyes sure are. Look, just eat it already. All right, fine. Here goes. Great, see? Now just say, ah. Uh... Uh... Now that I think about it, isn't this... 
An indirect kiss? Now her silliness is rubbing off on me! But if I don't eat this now, it'll turn into a whole thing again. Couldn't she be a little more mindful of this crap? Verdict? It's actually tasty, I'd say. That's kind of a vague answer. But at least you did manage to try it. Last one's mine! <sighs> huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what for? Now? You realize it now? Look, it'll take a thousand years for them to get together on their own! Then I guess I'll have to live a thousand years! Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Shut up, you! <laughs> We're at the beach! <laughs> oh gosh, so hot. Yum. Yes, please. You can always count on a summer beach trip to bring people together. What's that? Why are those four there? It all began one afternoon a week earlier. In fact, it was right here in this cafe. So welcome, friends. Sit back and enjoy the show! <sighs> so, I have an announcement. Meet our new part-timer, your friend Hana Uzuki. I'm glad to be a part of the team! Wait, what's the idea here? I thought you were all gung-ho on me quitting so that I could finally get some peace. Oh, come on, don't be a hater! We're gonna have so much to see your dumb hater face. Shut it! Real talk? I just needed more spending money. Summer break soon! So I asked our owner friend and got his immediate okay! I figured it might be a lot of fun for everyone, so I hired her. That's your reasoning? Listen, I understand. You don't think Hana should be here, but she's here because she needs a job. Isn't it good to support that? Yeah, we should be encouraging her. Who are you to stand in her way? But... oh man... For now, just show her the ropes. They say the best way to learn is by teaching. Maybe you'll pick up something new. Fine, let's get started then. You sure about this, Sakurai? You really think you can teach me? Don't you even start! When a customer comes in, you should always show them to their seat. You'll notice the regulars often head to their favorite spot before you can even take them there. Mm -hmm. I'll be the customer. Here, ice water and a hand towel. This is the first thing that we bring each new patron. You'll want to wait till they're comfortably seated and then bring these out. 
Next, you'll say, please feel free to let me... Be careful not to make a customer reading a menu feel rushed or pressured. And write down what they want. That's about how it usually goes. Got it? Quick question! Yeah? Go on. Where are the training jokes? There aren't any! Shut up and learn! I'm just saying, if this act is going on forever, you should really toss in a joke. What do you mean, act? We're not putting on some kind of skit here! <laughs> so serious! Yeah, you should try it! You're getting paid for this job! Take it seriously! Relax! What's the big deal? It's your place? What side are you on? Oh, we've actually been training her on all this stuff since before you got in today. You see, this was actually about getting you all wound up! Great! Congrats! What are your summer plans, huh? You going anywhere? Uh, not really. This new game's coming out. Thinking I'll veg out at home as much as possible. What? Huh? That's the exact same thing you do for the rest of the year. You're really gonna waste your precious summer break gaming? Sure am. It's shaping up to be the best summer ever. Something. Here's the deal. We're going to the beach or a pool. That's what's happening. Uh, hmm? <laughs> it's settled. Done deal. I bet you haven't even gone swimming since you graduated high school, have you? Uh, how did she say that? You're right. Huh. <gasps> Heard you were working together, so I'm here to watch. What? Looks like I got here just in time. <laughs> Seriously, this heat. Terrifying sight. Those things are weapons. Look, we rented an umbrella. I wish the boss man would have come too. I know. Too bad he threw out his back. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Oh, looking for someone? Sakaki stopped by, but he left to go check out our lodging. Right. I'll handle all of the details. What? Are you sure about that, man? Wait a minute, where do you get off? I know what you're thinking, but come on, look at them. Can you in good conscience send those two alone? Think of the missed opportunities. <sighs> Typical. So now it's up to me to look out for them. Hold on, where is Sakurai? I thought he was here with you before, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, but not now. <sighs> there! Holy crap! How did he end up going out that far? Super hyped looking out at the water, and then he went running into it full tilt like he just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> that jerk will stop at nothing to get his alone time. I never swam in the ocean before. You have a death wish? You look totally weird. You don't need your goggles at the beach, let alone a little swim cap. You're not a lifeguard or a grandma. Oh, didn't know. See, it's like I told you before. The whole swim team look really turns people off, so ditch it. That's right. The point here is to have fun. This is your precious leisure time. Forget about your old swim team. Why is she so ticked off? Also, what were you thinking leaving Hana behind to go and swim by yourself? Huh? Mm-hmm. What? Just think. If you're alone, so is Hana. What if somebody hits on her? How do you think you're gonna feel then? Uh-huh. Do you really want to be responsible if something happens? Uh... It's only right that the guy she came with looks out for her. Tell me you get this. Yes, master. Start with the swimsuit compliment. I doubt it'll come easy, but that's what you get for never trying. Right. Probably fair. Now let me see. <clears throat> you look really good in that swimsuit. I like it. I think that blue is like your color somehow. Okay, now what else? Wow, that was intense. Being examined so closely from head to toe. Doofus. Uh, Uzuki. The dolphin's almost ready to go. Uh-oh, what was that? Did he say something? Uh, no, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Little embarrassed, huh? Uh, 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 well, 
that do it? What do you think? Good job, well done. Yeah, well, I remain somewhat suspicious. Hey, you guys having fun? I brought us a snack. Awesome, thank you. A watermelon! And to eat, we'll use this. A bath? Yep, you guessed it. It's time for that seaside standard, watermelon splitting. Why am I doing this again? Because it's your first time. Make some memories. Okay, blindfolds up! Gotta say, it's a heck of a lot more fun to be on the guiding end. <laughs> I think you mean the misguiding end, right? <laughs> okay, first I say we totally blindside him and drop kick him into the ocean! <laughs> Can I leave with that? Jeez, what kind of games do you play? Okay, Yuzuki, you start off with Saku. Roger that! Hang on, there's no way I'm not filming this. <laughs> Hello? You know I can hear everything you say, right? Go on, get started, Saku. <laughs> Just look at you. You're like a cute little sitting duck. I will so get you for this. Right, sure. Ready? Start! It's not far. Up, down, left, right, B! Uh, are you kidding with these directions? Just do it right! Down, up, down, B! Down, right, up, left, B! Up, up, left, A! Uh, what the hell, Uzuki? You can't make me throw a fireball! Seriously, quit screwing around and direct me! She's in her element. Nothing left for us to do. Gotta love that. It's true, she has a real gift. Forward! Forward and a little to the right. No, no, listen! Go up and down, B-L-Y-R-A! Shut up, Uzuki! Come on, that's no accident. Way too convenient. Anyway, you gonna tell me where to go? Where's the melon? Aren't you grabbing one right now? There's no way! Well, I'm dead. So could you maybe please get off of me? Man, aren't we there yet? Would you relax? It's just up ahead. Huh? What are you pouting about over there? Nothing. I'm so not pouty. <laughs> huh? Um, where the hell is that watermelon? <laughs> oh, so that was what I grabbed before. Unreal. Such a doofus. Home sweet summer home. Oh. Oh. When you said you'd handle all the details. Is this seriously your summer home? Welcome. Come on in, everyone. Pick whichever room you like. I had no clue you were this rich, Sakaki. I knew you had a summer home, but I didn't know it was like this. Because I invited you last year and you didn't come. Anyway, my parents are rich, not me. Now go enjoy yourselves. A rich person's light switch. Fancy. Wow, it is. Whoa! Stop it. The intercom has a camera. So impressive. Look, it's one of those clips. The standard for rich here. You can take whatever you want from the fridge. I stocked it up so we'd have plenty. Oh. Wow, you sure did. I'm in love. Get a load of this meat. You do like meat, don't you? Well, duh. Of course I do. I mean, it's meat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh? That smell! Delish! Cookouts are the best! So, what's the plan after this? Oh, I brought a game! It's fun! Me too! Ah, then it's a showdown! No way, nerdlings! Mm -hmm. You can do that any old time. Don't forget, it's summer break, and it's night. We're all on vacation. I'd say that calls for a little action. Let's head to the back hills. Well, we did what you said and followed you up here. Is something supposed to happen now? It's getting crazy dark out here. We should build a fire, right? Okay, I know it's a little cliche, but it's really not summer without a... Courage test! I'm out! No, seriously, it's cool. There's this great bluff up ahead. 
I'm done! No way! Sup, Saku? You not into this kind of thing? It's just, I don't play horror games, nor do I watch any horror flicks, ever. And do you know why? Because they're scary! You struck a pose to say that? Seems like he's pretty desperate to avoid this. Uh, that's okay. Man, I'm sorry. I had no idea it was such a problem for you. That really sucks. My bad. However, while honesty is great and all, you maybe should have reconsidered announcing your weakness to the world. Oh, really? <gasps> so scary stuff is too much for you, eh, Sakurai? <laughs> Why, I had no idea. Hmm. Knock it off, Uzuki! I surrender! The knight's too young to throw in the towel, buddy. He's really scared. He wasn't kidding. Because it's time to air all your dirty laundry for everyone to see! No! <laughs> Give that back! I mean it! You're gonna have to catch me first! See ya! No! <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> You're fast when you wanna be! I'm running farther <laughs> in! Is this the big plan? <sighs> Actually, I envisioned the four of us going in there together. Although, I admit I definitely picture things the other way around. Sakurai! Don't let go! I'm scared! Good girl. Shoulda known. Shall we follow? Before. Huh? You told me not to meddle with them. That I should look after them instead? Yeah, that's right. So I thought I'd try to create the right conditions for them. Conditions that might nudge them into something new. I knew it. I figured it was something like that. But since almost every move those two make is an unexpected one... You're doing this. Huh? Why would you go to such lengths? Good question. Uh... Saku's actually a really great guy, but he's quiet, and awkward, and bad at making friends. A true loner. And yes, I'm aware it's not my business, but I can't help it. I just wish his college life could be more fun, you know? Otherwise, it's kind of a waste. So there's that. And other reasons. Other reasons, huh? Okay. Oh, there they are. Huh? I got a little carried away. I'm really sorry, Sakurai. Let's go. Oh, hey, look! Sakaki and Ami are here, see? We'll all head back and have some ice cream, okay? <laughs> I can't move another step. He sounds bad. Uh, calling it. We're done. Let's go, okay? Come on! We are really bad. Yahoo! Look at that, would ya? Someone just got the new high score! You said you'd play, now all you want to do is sleep? <laughs> Sakaki's long gone. Even Ami dozed off. Guess that tracks. We did have an active day, didn't we? Everybody is all tuckered out. Still, seeing his sleeping face like this gets me feeling all kinds of restless. Well, it's your fault for letting your guard down. <laughs> oh. Sakurai, what the heck are you doing? This is awkward. Oh. He's still asleep? Huh. Guess he's a cuddler then. Sure didn't see that coming. Phew, I'm glad he's asleep. <sighs> Hang on! He's out cold. I guess he wouldn't actually do this if he was awake. Oh. I am the one who teased the poor scaredy cat and tired him out. Maybe this is okay. For a little while, at least. <laughs> Just for tonight. Just for tonight.
I fell asleep in the living room? Must have been poofed. Uh, it's weird, because I woke up feeling like I had the best sleep ever. Nice. In that case, you might want to consider investing in one of those body pillows. I have a strong feeling that we missed something extremely important. I won't fail again. We got this. And I would bet Kakyoin's soul that you will for sure find a way to screw it up. sudden no it's totally okay so um what you said about being with me I'm oh yeah about that the thing is <laughs> huh? Huh? with me to the cat cafe thank god you're here seriously oh dude I can't wait this is my first time so I'm kind of freaking out Hey, quit kicking me! Ow! Stop it! Cut it out! That hurts! Ah! Party of two, yes? Take your shoes off and go on inside. Oh. Oh, whoa! So many cats! Look at them, Uzuki! Yep, these are cats, all right. Well, duh. We are a cat cafe. <laughs> I can touch them, yeah? That is allowed. Hey, Breeze, you've got the scary eyes happening. Of course. As long as the cats are okay with it, you can feel free to pet them gently. Got it. Listen, do it just like I taught you, from below. Sure, okay. Now's your chance. One thing cats love is being scratched under their chins or behind the ears. Oh. What the... I hope you're seeing this, Uzuki! I've got a cat on my lap! I know, and that's wonderful! But don't be too loud, or it will run away. <laughs> okay, that's creepy. He definitely doesn't get this excited about human attention. All that gloominess must be keeping some stuff really repressed. Coochie, 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 coo. But he's so happy, I'll forgive the messed up way he got me here. This is one of the purest things I've ever seen. Ow, you're so perfect! He's literally too overjoyed for words. Alright, I see you, Uzuki. What's with the plastered smile? Oh, just the creep factor. You act cool, but you're a huge softie. You are such a jerk. Crap, did I say that out loud? Let me enjoy this. Oh yeah, and dropping your voice like you're angry isn't the best way to get close to all these kitties. Just a tip. I have one in my lap, so I don't need your advice right now. Thanks! I am glad you came today, though. I kept turning back at the entrance. Oh, whatever. Well, I've got a thing. It can't be just anything. Okay, well, my birthday is actually coming up really soon. And I know this is cheesy, but I'm turning 20, so I'd like to make it sort of special, you know? So, uh... Sorry, Uzuki. Huh? But the truth is... Uh, yes? My legs are currently so numb that I don't think I've been able to process a single thing you said. Could you repeat that? Then get rid of the cat and listen! No! If you can't even function, uh, then it's time to move the cat! But I finally got one to like me! Please, just a little longer! Why don't you focus on getting rid of the pins and needles in your legs? It's not gonna be a quick fix kind of thing! Ow, 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 ow. Uh-oh. What the hell? Would you cut that out? Sorry, but you left yourself so wide open. I mean, come on, you were practically asking for it. 
anybody would be vulnerable to an attack if their legs were numb, you little brat! Hey, remember you want to keep it down? Pokey poke, pokey poke, pokey poke, pokey Oh man, I can't believe how fun this is. This might just awaken something in me. <laughs> Please, Uncle. <laughs> I couldn't quite hear you. Oh, you love my pain way too much. Please excuse me, but we ask that you keep that kind of play at home. Play? was a blast. Don't you agree? It was super fun, right? The first half was. Up until you had to go and get us thrown out. Damn. Next time I'm definitely going alone. Probably can't go back to that one either way. And whose fault is that? Gotta love cat cafes, though. I'd forgotten how great they were. So many friendly kitties. I know, right? Guess they're used to being around people. It's like very easy mode. Your communication's puny. Too bad. And they still warmed up to you, which is great. That was an ancient ra Kitties. Oh, sure, I get it. I wonder if that's similar to what married men who go to strip clubs feel like. No idea. And I find that analogy really disturbing. All right, guess I'll see you later. Yep, I owe you one for today, so just think it over, okay? Oh, don't worry, I've given it lots of thought. What then? Well, like I said earlier, my birthday is coming up on August 7th. I have very high hopes. Anyway, see you soon. Her birthday? So, that's the story. And she said she had high hopes for her birthday. It's a hairy mess, yep. That kind of thing doesn't strike me as your strength. Correct. She anticipated that Sakurai would be bad at this. Then she threw him for a loop with vague and intimidating expectations. She's quite the schemer. Yes, but that comes from the yearning of a girl in love, desperate to be noticed by her crush. Not that Hana realizes it herself, of course. Still, any way you look at it, we're, we're gonna, gonna eat this up. up! What are you doing? Nothing. Art. Here, for you. Giving me flowers because my name means flower, so you suck at buns too, huh? Here, for you. Seriously, you bought this before even bothering to find out the right size. Anyway, only hotties can get away with giving this kind of present, sorry. Here, this is for you. Couldn't you have given me a U-Tunes card instead? I want those special event bonuses. It feels like anything I give her will end up being a disaster. This, this is, is getting, getting complicated. complicated. In reality... Sweet thing, but he sure doesn't have a good eye for flowers, unfortunately. That's supposed to be a placeholder? <laughs> hey, it has multiplayer! I'll play with you! What do you have to say about that, loner boy? Sounds about right. I think it's obvious she'd be happy with anything Sakurai gives her. <sighs> I've run way too many scenarios. Now I'm confused. Then why not stop and follow your intuition? Do I have one of those? Just give her the first thing that came to mind when you thought birthday present for Uzuki. The first thing I thought was that I didn't... Yeah, I still have no idea what to do. But this is it. I need to pick something today. <clears throat> What's up, Uzuki? What is it? I want you to be with me. I... I need you. Huh? I want you to be with me. This is weird. What's going on with her? Uh. <sighs> hey, Sakurai. Hey, what's up? Sorry to spring this on you. It's fine, I don't mind. So, on the phone, you said that... You, uh, wanted me? Um, yeah, right. So about that... I just couldn't bring myself to go in alone. Come on, you have to come with me! You wanna go to a... pub? That's right! Your treat, please! But what for? I told... Mostly... For your wallet! Wait, now I understand. You were angling for a pub visit this whole time! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> huh? What's happening with your face? Let's get in there. Are you sure about this? Celebrating your milestone 20th at a random little pub? Oh, yeah. All I wanted was to try drinking with you. 
Because drinking is super fun, isn't that right? I'd say that depends on both the drinker and the circumstances. There are no guarantees. Well, if it ends up not being fun, then I know I can depend on you to do something to make it fun! Not sure I would count on that one. Whatevs. Let's just enjoy. That sounds good. Are you ready? <laughs> of course I am! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> okay, here goes! Go on, drink up. How is it? like a soft drink, but also it's like painful burning in my throat deep <laughs> down inside. Alcohol will do that. What's beer like? Is it different? You want to try one? Uh-huh. So sorry for the wait. Hope you enjoy it. Give it a taste. Ooh. Uh-oh, you okay? So this is what beer tastes like, huh? It's bitter, but there's more to it than that. You're right, which is why it goes so great with fried and salty food. Let's see then. Oh, it's so juicy. Now take a slug of beer. <laughs> see? Great, right? They go perfect together. It's like the beer brings out the grease from the chicken for fresh new flavor with every bite. <laughs> wow, you really chugged it. What's the verdict? So you should drink alcohol with food as a rule then? Nah, some people prefer to savor it on its own. It doesn't matter as long as you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> well, in that case, as you so kindly suggested, I think I'm gonna do- Hey, just how much are you ordering? Sadly, your wallet is already dead. Are you kidding? Cancel! Cancel those! <laughs> Pardon me, please. No horsing around. We're sorry. <sighs> Just calm down. You're gonna get us. Oh. Ah, no! What is this? The hole looks like one of them is rated ultra spicy. <coughs> Where's my beer? It's gone. <laughs> and no water. Lusiki, a drink. Wait, is that K? I'm still looking at the menu. I can't wait. Oh, guess what? I just found a drink I bet I can make for us. I should whip one up for you sometime. I'm begging you, please. Hurry! Yeah. Thought I was a goner. Wow, this is great. Guess I like yuzu liqueur. Excellent. Good for you. <laughs> Another round! Now wait a minute. What's up? You're really knocking them back there. Take it easy. This is... <laughs> really? Slow down. But I'm totally fine. Uh-huh. How many is that anyway? Good question. Ah, uh, great. Okay, then. At least sneak some water in there. <laughs> Crazy, right? Guess I must be some kind of heavyweight. <sighs> Why don't you take a little breather? Pardon me, you're Yuzu! Thank you. Yes! <laughs> Thanks, come back again. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Are you feeling okay, Sakurai? You're kind of wobbly. Thankfully, you're the only one wobbling around here. Well, she started strong, but ended up exactly how I expected. I try to jot down how much you drank, so you should look at this and stay under that next time, got it? Wow, Sakurai, you sure got tall all of a sudden. That's a utility pole! Would you please get a hold of yourself? Aw, oh, come on, Sakurai, carry Here. me! Unhand me, woman! <laughs> Piggyback! Oh, baby back. Stop! Oh. Your various parts are all upon me! <laughs> Jeez, she's an annoying drunk. <laughs> Marking you with my scent. I can't send her off on her own like this. Here, stand up. I'll take you home. Oh, I don't want to go home. Let's drink some more at your place. Come on. No more alcohol, you dummy. Ken, would you stand up? You're flashing me. Who do you think you're calling a dummy, huh? Hey, by the way, did you know what time it is? Let's see. Uh, is it really that late? <laughs> That's too bad. No more trains for you, <laughs> you little dummy, dummy, dumb butt. You're the dummy yeah. who can't get home, dummy. Let's just call a cab. Oh, Uzuki's crazy drinking drained me dry. There's an ATM. Oh, but that access fee. And taxis will be charging pricey late night fares. Should I let her stay over? No, jeez, I can't think straight when I'm boozy. Quite the dilemma, huh? Be serious. You wouldn't abandon your friend far away from home, right? Don't tell me this was calculated from the get-go. 
I don't even care anymore. I want water. Let's go in. Yeah, and alcohol! I don't want him to verify my age because I'm 20 now! That's fine, whatever. Hey, look, just so you know, I only have a couple of covers. Wanna sleep together? No, I'm splitting it up! One blanket each! <laughs> Sakurai! Hey, Sakurai! Don't pass out on me yet. I'm begging you, let me sleep. It's like three in the morning. Let's play a game, please. That's a hard no. Maybe tomorrow. Uh. Are you really still drinking? Yep. Honestly. The sooner she learns about the horrors of alcohol, the better. <laughs> yep. Come morning, she'll know. Uh-oh. I really am fading. Fine. I'll just sleep right here. All right! No stun-locking moves this time, so let's get sparring. Hello? Hey! You asleep? Just kill me now. Oh, well, well. You're gonna leave me awake on my own while you drift away? Just ignore her. Maybe a kiss will wake him up. <clears throat> <laughs> See, I knew you were faking being asleep. Try not to let yourself get so worked up. It was just a joke. I was messing with you. <laughs> but your reaction was pretty frantic there, big guy. Is it possible you've never been kissed before? No! Shut up! Go to sleep, you idiot! <laughs> You've got a hangover. Life's gonna suck for a while. I hate this. Why the heck are you smarter? <laughs> Listen, don't worry. Everyone has an alcohol screw up or three. It's normal. Good thing your first time wasn't at some sketchy college party. None of this is good. I don't know. You did find your limit right off the bat. <gasps> Great, he's in lecture mode. Although, you didn't drink much water either. That's what it takes to metabolize alcohol. If you alternate with rounds of water, you won't get sick. You should start feeling better this afternoon. Just have to tough it out till then. You listening? Wow, she really is in hell. The bigger the screw up, the better the lesson. Next time, drink as much water as you do booze. No, it's fine because I'm never drinking again as long as I live. <laughs> Probably for the best. Although, everyone with a hangover tends to say that. No, this is hell. Oh, never, ever, ever. Again. Well, I'm gonna go hit the store. You hold down the fort. Rest up, okay? Thanks a lot for being with me last night at the pub. It was so awesome. I'm sure I'll never forget that. <laughs> I'm really happy you enjoyed your birthday. Oh, right. Almost forgot. You're officially 20 now, Uzuki. <laughs> Happy birthday. Hey, are you feeling better? I'm ashamed. I'm really sorry about all the trouble I caused the other day. Oh, uh, it was nothing. Don't sweat it. I mean, come on. There was a lot of alcohol involved. Liquid courage, eh? Uh, is he a cheater? They're the worst. Just accept this, please. Huh? It's for you. I haven't gotten my first paycheck at work yet. It's from Mom, because I haven't been humiliated enough. It's money. He's freeloading? Off her mother, too? Uh, no, no, it's fine. It was super cheap anyway, and really old and worn out. Well, if this isn't enough, then do you think you'd be willing to wait until payday? Extortion? Is he mafia? Call the police! Uh, no, listen, I'm totally fine with it, really, okay? <laughs> I don't care. I have to make it right because you caught me in such a compromising position. Compromising, compromising position? Freezing! I'm begging you! Considering everything that... 
Hey, all you did was get my futon dirty. Plus, I mean, that was bound to happen since it was your first time and all. <gasps> no, what? Fine, give it to me! You win, okay? Now forget about that night like it never happened! Now, let's move on! A soiled uh, futon? And it was her first time, so you know... Wants to act like it never happened. Men, men are, are such, such scum. scum. Oh, crap! My freezing too! Thank you very much! Please come again, okay? The last of the rush. Looks like things have settled down for now. What do you think, Dad? You're right. I'd say we're due a little break. Let's take five. That's right, Sakurai. How did finding a present for Hana's birthday turn out, huh? I know we couldn't give you very much in the way of advice, but I sure hope she was happy with whatever you chose. <sighs> well, well, looks, looks like, like we touched thinking with me for her birthday. So she dragged me to a pub and we partied. She ended up drinking too much. Actually, we both did, which wasn't very smart. And before I knew it, we had missed the last train of the night. Continue. So, and maybe it's because we were both tipsy, but to make a long story short, she ended up spending the night over at my place. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. go, go on. on. Well, and then... Yes, what next? <laughs> then she... <laughs> Forgive me. It's just... She's a woman, I guess. It's not my place to say anymore. She made, made a, a grown, grown man, man cry? cry? Wow, what on earth did she do? <laughs> sure, I had fun at the beach with the whole gang, but there's something about being alone on a big ship. What is this feeling? I'm sensing something important's about to happen without me! I'm coming, you guys! Wait for me! Sir! So ever since her birthday, Hana's been acting strange and out of sorts with you? Right, and she won't stop. I've told her more than once not to sweat it. Hmm, interesting. She must have gotten it into her head that whatever she did was an unforgivable thing. <sighs> no way. That'd be way out of character for her. Real remorse? Oh, come on. Uh Don't be so hard on her. Hana's nuts, but she gets the boundaries. I know she can annoy you sometimes, but you've never had a truly bad time with her, have you? Uh, well, now that you mention it... Definitely screams winner, you know? Nope! Nuts! <laughs> Too good! <laughs> Look at me! I got your phone! Now that you mention it, she didn't not make things terrible sometimes, I guess? I can feel the conflict within you. So Hana's expressions of love are pretty razor thin, is that what you're saying? Part of me likes the new quiet Uzuki. But there's something off about it, because now she's hard to talk to. It's so complicated. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. It's not like she hasn't been through plenty herself. She could put on a happy face, but she's changing things up this time. <laughs> Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, a special tool that will help you later. What is this? Well, keep reading. You know the fireworks festival, right? This neighborhood gets vouchers. We use them at the stalls. And you are going to invite Hana. Why? Does this look like a festival mood? You want to patch things up, don't you? We're good. It's not like we're arguing or anything. Silence, you idiot boy! Ugh, damn, Ami! I know direct involvement goes against my principles, but... Look, you are going, period! You're gonna spout dumb stuff like your smile is bright as a chrysanthemum firework! Or you're beautiful from every angle, too, just like these freaking fireworks! You will compliment her within an inch of her life, and the more nauseating, the better that kind of- Are you being serious right now? It touches a father's heart hearing his daughter talk about the ways of love despite her utter lack of experience. This voucher gives you an excuse to ask her to come. I'm not sure she'd go for it right now if you offered to pay her way. <clears throat> okay, thanks. <laughs> Hey, 
Suzuki! Oh. Sorry for the wait. It's just so crowded. No, please don't worry about it. I barely got here myself. Oh, okay. Listen, thank you so much for inviting me tonight. It really does mean a lot to me. Ah, no use. This thing just will not die. Don't give it a thought. Hey, I'm hungry. Wanna hit the... For real, no prob. I had a voucher, remember? <laughs> I guess I should thank our boss. Uh, you cool? Uh, yeah, it's nothing. Still no dice, huh? We're acting all cheery on the surface, but that weird awkwardness is still there. If she were her usual self. Hey, I know! Let's go goldfish dipping, Sakura! You know goldfish dipping? I'm gonna get my poor loner buddy a roommate! When I picture you coming home at the end of the day and yelling, Farm! Quite a contrast. I have to do something to cheer her up. But what? Think! You will compliment her within an inch of her life, and the more nauseating, the better that cap's a guaranteed mood booster! Uzaki! Yes? I meant to tell you... That Yukata, it's, uh, you look amazing. Oh, thanks. My mom helped me put it on. It's nice. Real nice. Huh? You... you think so? Bingo! There it is! Oh yeah, it looks great on you! <laughs> wow, thank you for saying that! And the sandals? Oh, I bought them especially to go with this. Well, they're perfect! And your flower hairpin, it's so summery! <laughs> I chose that for this you got to do! And did you do something different to your hair? It's fantastic! <laughs> so is that! Oh, that's just where I keep my wallet and my phone. Girl, I bet you could fit a ton in there! <laughs> well, it's dead inside Loner Sakurai! I speak the truth! You're absolutely outstanding today, Uzuki! You think so? I am, right? I did work really hard, so you better be grateful! I mean, let's face it, if you'd missed this chance, you probably would've gone your entire loner life never having hung out with a girl in a yukata! <laughs> suck it up! This is tons better than meek and mild, Uzuki! You're right! Come on, with you looking so cute and all, we'd better go have some fun! Wait, what? Back up a sec! Are you seriously saying you think I'm cute, Sakura? No! Oh. Yikes, it slipped out! Wait, no, here's my chance. You are cute! I'm glad I asked you out! Thanks so much for coming tonight! <laughs> you're beautiful, you're a total knockout, and you're cute! Adorable! Like, I can't even handle how charming you are! It's he seems desperate. <laughs> kind of pathetic, actually. Super cute! Stop! Thanks, but that's enough! Are you sure? Because I can keep going! It's uh, way too much! Uh, I get it, okay? Oh, watch it, slugger! <laughs> Out here practicing by yourself again? Oh, hey, Sakura. I, I thought you left a little while ago. Accidentally left this. Didn't I tell you it was dangerous to practice alone? Um, well, about that. You've shown me stuff a few times now, and I'm always watching everyone's practices like an obsessed dork. So I, I guess I thought by now I'd not quite where I thought I'd be. I'm sorry. And after everything you taught me, too. <sighs> gotcha. 
Oh, see ya, I guess. He's frightening, especially in this dim light. I think it has something to do with his face. Maybe I can practice a little more. Yeah, here goes. doing back. Oh, wow! No wonder he's a starter. He's really good! Oh, amazing. His movements are strong and sure, but he's so quiet. He lacks your body. Huh? Human beings generally float, you know. Don't worry. Just maintain form as you do. Something wrong? Nothing. It's just that I still haven't gotten any better. Hmm. Huh? Oh, that's right. The fireworks festival is today. Oh, yeah. Hang on a sec. Huh? Where are you going? Here you are. Enjoy. Huh? Oh, uh... Aren't you hungry? Well... Oh. It's good. You're almost there. Keep it up. <laughs> I feel like I should apologize to you, though. You've gone over technique with me so many times. Uzuki, listen, I... Uzuki's lap? Why? How? Did I pass out or something? Yeah, but not for long. Don't worry, you didn't miss it. The fireworks haven't even started yet. Okay. Hey, no getting up for you, uh, mister. Uh, the nice person who helped me carry you said that even if you're awake, you really ought to stay lying down for as long as you can. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> Whoa, maybe it's because my line of sight is blocked, but damn, something smells great. Sakurai? Yeah? I'm sorry. Like a thousand times sorry. It's fine, really. Besides, this was an accident, right? Plus, I got a little carried away myself. But I... Don't sweat it, Kay. I'm begging you. Alright. Understood. Man... She'd only just bounced back, and now this... Yeah, it's the same face she made back then, too. It's like Ami and her dad said. She's thinking about the way things look. But when it's her making that face, I guess it's only natural that things would feel a little off. Uzuki, listen. Hmm? When you started at our college last year, it honestly didn't occur to me that we might end up hanging out. I never would have guessed. But look at us. You started getting really buddy-buddy with me last spring, and you were stubborn as hell about it. Real talk, you seriously got on my nerves. <laughs> Still, though, I've been thinking back. 
about everything that's happened so far. You've tagged along everywhere I've gone, sometimes even intruding on my private space and alone time. But we kept hanging out. We went to the beach and the cat cafe, and we even felt comfy enough to drink together. And the fireworks. Tonight will be our second time with those. Sis, don't get me wrong, I could do without all the noise, but when it comes down to it, it was fun. I can't deny that. What's more, you know I hate to say it, but it's probably a hundred percent thanks to you that I've been able to get used to being social and stuff. I think you've opened me up a bit. What I'm trying to say is, keep being yourself, don't try to be different. It messes things up. <gasps> Sakurai? There's still some summer break left. Let's go somewhere again. If you'd be up for it. <laughs> Aww. Well, if you insist, I'd be happy to keep you company on your loner summer break, you sad old man. Good. I was hoping you would. <laughs> <gasps> hey, it started up. It sure has. Oh, wait, can you even see the fireworks from there? Just barely. Ba what a show! You guys are killing it! Yeah, I can't see a thing. Who cares? I'm just fine right here. Sakurai? Yeah? What are you up to tomorrow? Whatever it is, I'd like to come along. Right. Sounds like a plan. What should we do tomorrow? Darjeeling? Or maybe chamomile would be better. Oh, I just don't know. I really should have asked Hana which tea would be best before she left earlier. You're all I have. Don't you understand? Please, can you imagine if you were being serious? I'm far too old for you. I am serious. I swear. Wow. That's a big age difference. Oh my. Hana's friends should be here soon. I do hope they're nice. Listen, Mr. Upstanding Guy. I get that you want to return what I paid you for the mess I made. But my mom's already said you don't have to. Stop. You gave me too much. If you won't take it, then I'll just have to return it directly. It's only too much because you bought such a cheap replacement. This was your chance to get a good one. Mm. You sure are quiet today. <clears throat> Hold on a second, are you actually nervous? Don't tell me, is this your first time ever visiting a girl's house? That's... What do you think my home's like anyway? You act like you're walking into a haunted house. Don't worry, you won't get gobbled up or anything. <clears throat> And we have all-you-can-pet cats! Ooh. Wow, talk about a 180. Are you only doing this because there will be cats? Yeah, why? Is it that obvious? <clears throat> well, now I'm ticked. Okay, here we are. Don't worry, I told Mom I'd be bringing you along. I'm here! Hi, honey. Glad you're back. I'm Hannah's mom. Hana, is this the college friend you've mentioned? She's told me an awful lot about you. Scary. He's got such a penetrating glare. This is no ordinary fellow. He's so intense. Also, she never told me her older friend was a boy. Anyway, you're very welcome here. Thank you, ma'am. I'm Sakurai. I owe you. You were- Jenny looks. However, I'd like to return some of what you gave me, since it was more than I needed. <laughs> Little overwhelmed here. His eyes are so fierce. Hey, mister. Quit standing around chatting in the foyer and come in already. What? He's coming in? I'll return the money and be on my way. Of course. We mustn't keep him. <sighs> Very well. If you insist. Okay, I think I understand the situation. 
You're saying that Hana offered too much money for the futon, so you want to give back the rest. That's, That's right. right. I tried to give it to Hana, but mm. she wouldn't take it. I hate to barge in on you, but returning it directly was the right thing to do. He used my name? Honey? A word? Huh? What's up? All you've ever told me is you're spending time with a good friend at college? Since when do you spend the- He's one of the good ones though, really, I swear! Young lady, you know that's not the point! You might be just fine, but Sakurai's still- Well, he's- You know! Can't even argue. Oh, I think I get what's happening. This girl of mine has actually been a terrible bother to you, hasn't she? Oh no, don't say that. But yes, please, do continue. Sakurai! What the heck, dude? So my looking after you is nothing but a big bother, really? No, I wouldn't say that's exactly true. About one time out of ten, I'm grateful for it. That's a crap average! You suck! How do you even I think, think I'm getting a pretty right? clear idea of how their time together has Would been going. Oh Goodness, they do seem awfully close, though. I think Sakurai must be good for Hana, both as an upperclassman and as a friend. He may look a little frightening, but he seems normal enough. All that worry for nothing. Still, my Hana bringing a boy home to meet me? It could be that I'll have some other things to worry about before too long. Or is Sakurai staring right at me? Well, not at me. At my... chest? His eyes are fixed on this one spot. Shameless! We barely met and he's already after my body? He couldn't possibly want me and my daughter. Man, I love cats. You ready to start petting or what? Hana! I mean, if it's okay. What? Sakurai? You probably can't just yet. She's on high alert. She needs to approach you. Probably? Yet? She's kind of shy with strangers. What is she talking about? If you stop by enough, she'll get used to you. Believe me, before you know it, she's gonna end up chasing you down. Absolutely not. There is no chance of that. What are you even saying? I'm right in front of your mother? You're right. Man, not gonna fly today. <gasps> but soon, I wanna hold her. <laughs> okay, now that we've settled, yeah, I don't wanna overstay my welcome. Well, I, um... Then why don't I come to your place? We can get some gaming in. Sure, whatever. Sorry to intrude. Goodbye. I'll see you later, Mom, okay? Why is my heart pounding? The heck is going on with me? <coughs> Thanks so much. Come again. Here you go, Mom. Thanks, honey. I have to get back to work so you can relax and enjoy that. Good luck. I'll be here. I'm so glad I could see Hana working at her first job. And I'm glad I'm getting to see this side of her. But... I never thought Sakurai would be here too. Well, hello. I heard through the grapevine that you're Hana's mom. So young. It's very nice to meet you. You've been so kind to my daughter. No, no, she's good to us. Hana's an extremely hard worker, you know, that helps her develop such a rapport with customers. Oh, wow, is that right? I'm so glad to hear it. Totally. She's a big hit with all our regulars, too. See? <gasps> oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> As a heart attack. Hello there. Hi, Hana. The children <laughs> absolutely adore her. And she's always more than happy to spend time with him when they're bored. Only when she's finished with her work, of course. Wow, that's fantastic! Thank you for this. Truly. As a mother, I was honestly worried about her, but I feel a little better now. Yep, I'm also a parent. That kind of concern never goes away. When it comes down to it, turning customers into fans is the service industry's goal. After all, a fan is a frequent visitor. Hana gives them a reason to come, which gives us a big advantage. It's not something a first-timer is usually able to pull off. You got yourself a winner. Oh my, this high praise is almost more than I can bear to hear. I am thrilled to know that she's so useful. Full disclosure, there's one more... Oh, do... do you mean Sakurai? Uh, ah, you know him already then? <laughs> yes, just a little, of course. 
His eyes are fierce at first, but once you're past that, he's a hottie. I mean, he's tall, slim, and fit, with a nice personality and good manners. He checks all the boxes. Well, yes, I guess when you put it like that, he does seem like a catch. He used to be an athlete, so he's always respectful to the authority figures in his life. But what I'd say about him more than anything else is that he's dignified. That's the truth. Really? Isn't that lovely? You know those moms are all about stepping by if they can chat with a handsome young man and have somebody look after their kids. I mean, are you kidding me? We are so making bank of those two. <laughs> Would you mind not speaking in such shady terms about your father's cafe? I can definitely understand how he'd make lots of fans. But Sakurai himself, I mean, what about him? Huh. I don't understand. Oh, well, I was just wondering, um, how do I put this? For example, like married women? Older women? Wait, Wait so, so is she? she? Hey, boss. Huh? Hmm? Now that the beans are here, I'll go get the stock room sorted. Oh, cool. I'll help. <laughs> there appears to be a significant misunderstanding. Huh? It's all right. You can relax. I promise you he's no cougar hunter. He's just a certifiable doofus. Oh my goodness, is he really? Yeah! He's always been prone to taking things the wrong way. Married women? Yikes. She's right. Have no fear. Because believe it or not, he and your daughter work beautifully together. Married women. <sighs> <sighs> right. Yes, of course they do. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I'm just mortified. Forget I said anything. What was I even She saying? blushes exactly like her daughter. Is that a coffee bean? Yep. That's right, and you have to properly mature these babies. Does that mean you prefer ones that are more mature? Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. Older the better. That would be my preference for sure. Like, there's just this overall richness to them. Huh? Richness? But someone experienced would try them just like that, right? Huh? Apparently. Gotta take it easy, though. Overindulge, and you might get so excited that you can't even sleep. Oh, gosh. Excited? Wanna try with what we have? I mean, now's your chance. I can't right now. Although, I plan on getting a good taste before long. <laughs> You're an old stickler, you know. Come on, cut it out. I knew it. He has a song. Wimp, aren't you? What'd you expect? I've never played this game before. You know, that's a crappy excuse. <laughs> Though, I admit I practiced yesterday. I trained hard so I could kick your butt. <laughs> you play dirty! If I get to see you frustrated, I'll do pretty much anything. You're proud of that? You chicken! Oh, is it the sad howl of a dog with its tail between its legs? Oh, poor loser pooch. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna go grab a drink. Grab one for me, too! What? You lost, right? If you ask me, one favor is actually the least you could do. Don't you think? <sighs> yeah, fine, whatever. Aw, oh, man! What a missed opportunity to make it interesting. Like, loser runs to the store to buy the winner. A new, slightly pricier pudding. Great, you win one game and then you act like you own the place. And to think, your mom is so kind and warm and soft-spoken. Huh? <laughs> How good it came out great again. Huh? So stressful. I can't believe he's confessing his love like this. <sighs> what a nice soak. <sighs> Honey, what do you need? Mm -mm, I don't need anything. Poor thing is stressed. Maybe she needs a hot bath. Could I get the check, please? Thank you. Please come again. We look forward to it. So visit soon. Uzuki, you okay? No, no, no. Don't pay attention to me. <laughs> Normally, she's all... 
Thanks, guys! Will you do it right? Uh. Uh, uh, that's cold! Listen, jerk, I know you did something! Take that! Yes, I did, okay? Just stop flicking water! You win! Now I understand. It's no wonder Hana's mad at you. You're such a tactless b She's throwing our regulars for a loop. So what should we do? <clears throat> I'm finished tidying the place. Huh? Wow, goodness, you three. I know we have no customers, but you can't just stand around chatting. <laughs> what the heck's up with you, Sakurai? Why are you staring at me like that? Would you cut that out? Sorry, what might that be? The entire way you're talking and acting. It's super weird, so give it a rest. Oh, but just yesterday you told me to mind my manners, right? And today you're telling me to stop? What am I gonna do with you? Ah, <laughs> you have to go back to your annoying self, please! It's freaking me out! And no more of that silly giggle! I'm begging you! Gosh, are you alright, Sakurai? If you're feeling unwell, perhaps you'd like a rest? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll cover your share of work. It's not a problem. Like a Please, sweet friend, please take care of yourself for me. Stop it, please! Why is it that you seem so tortured? Exert yourself. I beg you. Why, if anything were to happen to you, I would just... Enough! Quit screwing around, damn you! What's all this fake polite crap? Go back to your usual screwing around! Okay, calm down, Sakurai. Your words are getting jumbled, which doesn't help. Know what, Sakurai? Hana's just fine, however she wants to act. We'll meet again soon! Until then, do look after your health. Begging your pardon! <laughs> I think I foresee a new service offering. Ami, back off a little, would you? Hmm, if you find it unpleasant, I suppose I could always stop. Really? First, however, fess up. Isn't there something you'd like to say, Sakurai? Uh. Yeah, right. Me say something to you? Besides, the only thing I could say right now is... THAT! Okay, I messed up. I'm sorry. Uh. As long as you know that. Kidding me? The housewife market would eat that up! Ami, could you be quiet, please? I prefer the usual Usuki. Ah, there it is. We're witnessing Sakurai's famous... Look at her, it's working! Hmm? Uh, of course, this is so like you, Sakurai! Huh? What is? I'll tell you what! The way you always say stuff without even thinking about it! What the? Pot meat kettle, thank you! Hey, this is all your fault anyway! You can suck No, it. it's all because you got carried away! I just had the best idea ever! Can we have them start taking on different personas for the customers? Maybe Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays? I know the older ladies in particular will love making my own sucker eyes. If we do that, we could hardly call ourselves a cafe anymore. Could you please stop trying to put different spins on your father's business plan? Know what your problem is? I sure do, and it's you! Hey, no fighting! Oh, welcome, dear. Don't worry. We call this kind of fight a lover's quarrel. <laughs> it no is way, not. Dude. Here, you can have this. Make up, okay? <laughs> New low. We just got scolded by a little kid. She got us good. Hey, you were saying some pretty weird stuff back there, though. Which stuff? Well, you know, like, about the usual Uzuki. Hmm? If I'm not careful, my expression will slip. Hey, look. Huh? We have that ticket. Let's do it. Agreed. Wait, that means... Looks like congratulations are in order! Huh? You've won the grand prize! A two-night, one-day trip for two to Totori! Uh, Wait, what? Oh. Wow, they really- this now. What's up? Are you sure you're okay with me coming with you? What are you talking about, weirdo? It's your trip, too. We won this prize together. Oh, he's so cool. <laughs> this is my very first time in Totori. Just look at 
you. Your eyes are totally different. It's like they're kinder or something. Oh, shut up. Hey, those glasses actually make you look like... Oh, come on. It should be obvious here. Can it? You didn't even let me finish my sentence. <sighs> Let's get going. What do you want to do first? Well, let's see. What is there in Totori? No big coffee chains, just local brews. Grab rich, cash poor. Welcome to Totori Prefecture. Okay, that's weird. What was with that guy? Are you being serious? You don't know? No convenience stores? No problem. Who needs those? We don't got them. <laughs> He's a real big shot. We should probably hit the sand dunes first. Says here that we can paraglide or go sandboarding. Guess you like the active stuff, huh? Oh, yeah. All solo activities, I noticed. You're going full loner in Totari, too. And you won't shut up no matter where we go. So, how are we getting around? I don't know. We'll take the bus or something. <laughs> It's Suhito? And Ami! How crazy that you're- I was thinking of taking a trip when she ran into me and suggested meeting up with you two here. Seemed like a plan. I'll say. I feel bad though. You guys renting a car and all? Nah, totally fine. You have a thoughtful side, Sakagi. That's a terrific trait. The rest of you is iffy, but at least there's that. Please, enough of the compliments. Wasn't really a compliment. It's definitely more efficient to travel by car, don't you think? It's cushier than I imagined. Right? A rental car is a must if you want real freedom. Spoken like a seasoned traveler. You know me. So went our story. But our trip here serves another purpose. That's right. Hana and Sakurai vacationing alone together. I want their relationship to be untouched by other hands, but even I couldn't stay away. We've been watching over their progress thus far, and it's right on track. We have a duty to see this through. And to get front row seats for a treat? Not to mention a trip to Totori! Pure coincidence, of course, but should be fun. These two still, still don't, don't even know, know the real Totori! Totori. They really are spectacular in person, aren't they? Agreed. Man, what a beautiful sight. The sand dunes measure 2.4 huh? kilometers north to south, 16 kilometers east to west. Most people don't realize they're the largest sand dunes in Japan that are actually accessible to people. The dune right in front there is called the Horse's Back. It measures about 50 meters high. It's a popular tourist spot because from its peak, you can see all of the dunes and take in amazing views of the Japan Sea. <laughs> Whoa, nice. <laughs> What do you say we race to the water? You're on. If I win, you owe me a Nashi pear froyo. And if I win, you owe me a coffee ice cream. Okay, ready? Set? Go! Ah! <laughs> the sand really grabs the feet. This is rough. Suddenly regretting these shoes. What's up? What? I decided to reserve one for myself! That's not fair! Ha, whatever! You know that a contest begins way before it starts! Catch you on the flip side! Damn it! <laughs> Might as well give up, cause you'll never catch me! Oh. Cheater! Hold it right there! <laughs> 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 I win, you loser! A competition against this beautiful backdrop? Seriously, have you no soul? I admit, I admire your nerve whining about losing when it was your idea. Still, it really is beautiful. Makes our race seem kind of insignificant. So I don't owe you then? Nah, you do. Uh... Excuse me. Huh? Could you take our picture? Oh, sure. Uh, 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 we appreciate it. Oh, Oxy Pie, you look so cool in this shot. And you are so cute, Mio Mio. Uh, okay, shall we? Oh, 
but I can't walk. Oh, fine then, you win. Thankfully, somehow, I still have some strength left. <laughs> it's so round! Japan's oldest circular school building, originally a primary school. Allow me to tell you about it. The structure used to be dilapidated, and it was due to be torn down. But the citizens who wanted it to remain spurred the officials into action. And so, the building was reborn as a museum! Now it has various local specialties on display for your pleasure. Regional specialties, huh? What, like nashi pears? Can't forget Matsuba snow crabs. <laughs> yeah, and the Nendoroids too. Tontori is the manga prefecture, the birthplace of many manga artists. And it's home to a terrific figurine factory as well. In other words, manga and figurines are indeed local Tontori specialties! Oh, I'm starting to get that feeling, yes! I could hang around here all day. Oh, these are adorable! Sakura, you wanna buy me something as a souvenir? Seriously? You're getting four? They look like four sisters, so I don't wanna separate them! Oh, come on! Different versions! Double or nothing! Okay, I vote nothing! Sorry! Himiko person! Okuni nushi no Mikoto. Or Onomuji no Kami. Okuni nushi no Mikoto of the white hair of Inaba is enshrined here at Hakuto Shrine. <laughs> because the deity is famously said to have healed a hair whose fur had been torn off by a shark, the shrine is now revered mostly for its benefits to those with skin diseases and in. Hey, check it out! Rabbit cakes! Oh, they look tasty! You gonna introduce me to your friend? He's a shop clerk. She said you'd pay for these. Much obliged, loner boy. Wait, now it's my treat? <sighs> mm, soft and chewy and oh so delicious. That's great, good for you. Oh come on, don't be so angry. Here, you should take some. There's enough for you too. Fine, all right, here goes. Ah! Right. He's gonna gobble me up! Huh? Ah! ah! You humans to hell! Uh -huh. oh! No! Listen, I can't eat like this! Would you shut up? Oh, you're not hungry? Well, don't mind if I do! Uh, you just literally ate half in one bite! Give me one more little taste. Uh. Not a chance! Uh. Ha! You're wide open! <laughs> I guess an attention is the greatest foe. You are the worst! Isn't it yummy? Oh yeah, you uh, Aw, oh, you ate half of it! <laughs> Uzuki, you have to think about what you're doing! You're driving me insane! Right! Don't look at my mouth! <laughs> Is this it then? Yes, any minute now it should happen. They'll learn the truth about Totori. May our travels continue without a hitch. And may Sakurai's loner ways finally be healed. I'm not a loner! <gasps> hey, cool, look! They have fortunes! What do you think? Should we see who wins? Would you stop? It's not a competition. But, I mean, sure. <laughs> Middling luck? This has to be a winner! <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice try. Unfortunately for you, I got great luck. <laughs> Guess I win after all. So, Bragger, how's it feel to be so smug about middling luck and then end up losing, huh? <laughs> Hobbies. A gamer is best. Personality? Preferably a loner. Age when you're older. Direction? Right in front of... <gasps> what kind of fortunes are these? Huh? Don't tell me, is this shrine? A Hakuto shrine? Couples! What is this place about? <laughs> well, it seems you've discovered where you are. You've learned the true meaning of Hakuto shrine. And indeed, that of Tokturi itself. So, you knew about it! Didn't do all that touring for nothing. That myth? has linked Hakuto Jinja to healing skin conditions and injuries. But that's really just a cover. 
that same hair arranged match between Okuninushi no Mikoto and Yagami Hime. So to honor Japan's first love story, Hakuto is a matchmaking shrine. It rivals the one at Izumo. And Totori is home to two more sites, both veritable m idea. No way! Yes! To say that Totori tourists are basically all couples deeply in love would be an understatement, buddy! That's where the two of you find yourselves today. And this is how everyone saw you from the outside looking in. Darling, am I too heavy? Don't be silly. You're lighter than a Totori dune beetle, honey bunch. Mementos of my Totori trip with you! I'll take everything you have, whatever my cutie patootie wants she gets! Oh, darling, you know rabbit cakes taste best ears first. I've always been a tail first kind of guy myself. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me! No, I mean, people totally did think you are a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Saku and Hana sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Hold on, what are you talking about? Me and Sakurai all lovey dovey? Did you hit your head? Huh, come off it already. Why does everything have to be about love with you anyway? Is that all there is? Are you some kind of love addict or what? Pathetic, you really are hopeless. This mountain in the entire Chugoku region. It's a destination for all seasons, with beautiful autumn colors and magical snowy winter landscapes. Also, it's a perfect spot for young lovers. Not that crap again. For real, that has nothing to do with us! Oh, it's almost our turn. A couple seat, that's so cute! Those two must be really in love, huh? Two little birds sitting in a tree. <laughs> Huh? You guys go ahead. Uh... You two are just as cute! I agree. Find your own business! All I did was stand here! Man, all I wanted was to enjoy my Totori trip. I mean, it really isn't like that with... Uh... Ah! Uzuki! Yeah? We nashi and Matsuma crabs and have fun with all the great Conan and Kitaro stuff! Right? Uh... I guess? Good! So let's just forget the others and enjoy ourselves, okay? You mean that? Yeah! We'll show them! Right on! Damn it, Totori! Give me a break! Totori! With its impressive 850-year history, Misasa is considered a world-class radium hot spring. It's also home to many different popular types of hot spring treatments. It's been said that any malady you might be struggling with will be cured after your third morning at this hot spring. Hence the name. See? It's written using the characters three and morning. Isn't that clever? Okay, see you later. Yep. <laughs> I am beat. We did a ton of running around today. Are you sure about this? I mean, you could have fun. I'm just kidding. I don't get it, though. That was your chance. What are you doing, dude? Look, I've already told you. It's not like that with us. Hey! Huh? But it will be soon. That's not true. I'm not... Whatever. You're just wrong, okay? Hey, Sakurai! Want to go with me to the steam bath? <sighs> Uh. Don't you dare! Here at Musasa Hot Spring, the waters are for soaking, drinking, and breathing in deeply. Inhaling the mist in this luxurious steam bath is certain to cure whatever ails you from the inside out. If you inhale enough of it, I bet it'll even heal your big mean face. Oh cool, better get breathing then. By the way, shut up. Pretty half-hearted comeback there, Sakurai. Probably too hot to think of anything better. <sighs> wow, you're sweating buckets. It's never ending. Oh. Uh, Sakurai, can I use your towel, your towel, please? Uh, <laughs> oh, gross! You're super damp and sticky. Yeah, you're not helping that. Damn it! Would you get off me? <laughs> Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> Excuse me? Please save that for the privacy of your room! <laughs> what? <sighs> the 
This is great, especially after sweating so much. Man, I was soaking wet! But Sakurai wouldn't even let me use his towel to turd. He is so inconsiderate. Who are you calling huh? inconsiderate? What, are you spying on us now? Couple of pervs. Ah, shut up. Surely all that sweating must have flushed the bad stuff out of you. So have you considered trying to go live a productive life? I really think it's worth your consideration. Bad stuff? What does that mean? You should say that into a mirror, Mr. Villain-Faced Loner Introvert. If only you'd been able to sweat. What an unsexy conversation. That butthead. You know what? Fine! Let's see which one of us is worse once and for all! Oh, you are so on! Gotcha. What the heck? They're just not going in! All right, I think I got the hang of it. I can totally win this thing. Hey, why don't you put those extra balls in this box? Thanks, I appreciate it. Sure thing. Now to win. Watch yourself. <laughs> It's not a race, to me at least. Well, you better make it snappy or you're gonna lose, mister. You are a tyrant. A whole vacay and nothing's changed. Hmm. Are they really, though? A frog? What's this here for? Don't know. Hmm? A matchmaking Kajika frog? Rub to make your dream match come true. <clears throat> Guess they are pretty tasty, aren't they? So good. Thank you for the bounteous feast. We have to finish with this place! Sakurai! Check out all these yokai! Some I know, but some I've never seen. 177 bronze yokai, spread out over the 800 meters of the street which leads directly to Sakai Minato Station. Almost 200? That's pretty amazing. Check it out! What's this? Looks like a dragon to me. Let's see. It's not. It's a Shiro Unari. Shiro? What now? Okay, next. What's this? A crayfish. Uh, an Amikiri. These are tough. What's next? This right up in ease. <laughs> Damn it. You try this next one. Here. Wait. This is. Mm. Rokurukubi. It's Rokurukubi. I knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Yep, this is the place. The Mizuki Shigeru Museum is a must-see. <laughs> hey, loner! You gonna be home today? And if you are, can I come over? Yeah, I guess. Great! I'll be right there! Bye! <sighs> it seems like Uzuki's visits have gone from rare to a daily thing. Whatever, it's not worth fighting it. I'm done. Although, I hate that she's always leaving her junk lying around like this. I'm totally gonna have to say something to her soon. <sighs> there she is, dirty little menace. Surprise! Check out what I bought for your place, a jumbo bean bag! So cute, right? See, it's a frog! It's too big! There's a little frog, too! Okay, I hate how cute that is. What's your plan here? My plan for what? You mean, like, for my life? Basically, not to sweat it. People like the person behind you were just passing through. You know that's not what I meant! Would you cut it out? Jeez! Look around. Your stuff is taking over my apartment. I want you to start beanbag anyway. I mean, think about it. I'm always sitting on your hardwood floor for our gaming marathons. My butt hurts! Sorry, is that inconvenient for you? <laughs> and anyway, isn't it the host's one responsibility to make his living space welcoming and comfortable? Or would you rather be responsible for my butt cramping up? Does that bring you some kind of pleasure? Are you really complaining now? Therefore, I must plead not guilty to decorating without a permit. Fine, yes, you win. The beanbag makes sense that <laughs> it can stay. But the rest? This is a big problem. Uh, uh, 
I guess it has piled up, huh? Don't pretend it's not your fault. Time for you to choose what stays and what goes. Ugh, you're killing me! And no fun until we're finished. Aww. Everything that you don't need goes into this garbage bag. What you do need goes home with you. Fine. This? Toss it. These? Nope. This crap? Nuh-uh. See, you don't even want any of this stuff! Don't bring it to my place! Throw it away! I'll try! <laughs> Sometimes it's just super hard to make up your mess. <laughs> Aw, are you kidding? It's so fun! <sighs> See, you blow through this little thing here. Like so! <laughs> the best, right? Toss. Why, though? You know that thing's hilarious. It'll be a hit on Halloween. Yeah, I don't care. Besides, you know you only left it here because you didn't need it. Fair enough. That was easy! See, I knew it was garbage! It's like, sometimes I have to show a thing to you first before I can settle it. What the hell? Ugh, nice and roomy again, just how I like it. Ugh, I'm so tired. The only reason it was some huge chore was because of the amount of crap you brought over. <laughs> Great, here we go. Like how you bought all those extra phone chargers? You just don't think before you do things. Yep, it's definitely lecture time. Hey, are you even listening? Yeah, of course. Sorry. Run, I'm not even close to being finished with you. See, this is what you do. <laughs> What's with the bag, huh? Did you put it in there? Oh, uh, that's actually something else. Are you kidding, Uzuki? So now you're storing random stuff in my fridge. Uh, no, wait, is that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd cook for today. It's been a while, so it seemed like a fun idea. Listen, I suck. Sorry. I, uh, should have given you more credit than that. Tell me. Yeah? Would you like fish or beef? For the main dish. Fish sounds great. Apologies for earlier. And this is really delicious. <laughs> well, I'm enjoying this. Your sincerely remorseful side is very charming. Man, he's so easy. Hey, s huh? Yeah, why not? It'd be a big help if you could handle some of the cooking around here, too. But I don't. <gasps> oh, so you're gonna cook now? I had no idea you were a chef. You sure you can? It's not as easy as it looks. <clears throat> I'll do it. Uh, lovely. You're for real? Listen, I know you don't think I can do this, okay? But I'll have you know I cook for myself like once a month. Uh, what is that? It's spaghetti. Oh, uh, wow. What on earth? It's, uh, really interesting. Yeah, I'm sorry. You can go ahead and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too much. What do you mean? I didn't do what you told me to do. Stop it! This isn't my favorite. Uh, uh enough. Would you quit fighting? <sighs> Harder. It's best if you're rough. Yes. You're a natural, Sakurai. <sighs> Enough. My hands are so tired. Man, udon dough is no joke. Needing it really is hard work. <sighs> I was surprised to see you here for a crash course in the kitchen. Yeah, sorry. I'd intended to do it at my place. He doesn't have the tools, so I told him he could come here. And besides, Mom, you are my cooking instructor. Thank you in advance for your help. <sighs> All right, let's do it. Just try to keep up, will ya? It must be nice having those big, strong muscles. He does have that going for him. Big meathead that he is. Hey, Hana. It's okay. I get it all the time. Uh, do you really? Well, you know. I'm sorry. I've been having a normal conversation with him all this time. 
But how? Huh. Now I see. It's because Sakura is focused on the Udon. His eyes are intense, but they're looking away. When I'm not staring directly into them, he's actually easy to talk to. I hope this is helping. Glad you're here. Uh, oh, it's great. Thank you. Let the dough sit for about 20 minutes. Well, I have some laundry I need to put away, so I'll leave the rest to you, kids. <laughs> uh, want something to drink, Sakurai? I bet you worked up a sweat. Yeah, sounds good. Kitties. Hmm? Hmm. I was a little anxious at first, but I managed to hold a conversation with him. Turns out Sakurai is a kind person, and sincere just as his co-worker said. And now I know I'm fine as long as I avoid his eyes. Yes, I've made great strides today, and so has he. He'll make someone a great husband. <laughs> I'm telling you, Sakurai, it's fine. Go ahead. You said you really wanted to get in some petting, right? <laughs> I don't know. Not with high alert mode still active. I'd hate to scare anyone off. I mean, okay, yeah, it's fine. Maybe I am scared, but I, it's not like that. I, uh... Nah, you're all good. That one likes you. She keeps sneaking peeks, so... I was looking at him, sure. He was right next to me, but I wasn't looking at him like that. Just go for it, Sam! <laughs> no. I think I should be more of a gentleman. Oh, Sakurai! I? Oh, I thought I was warming up to all of this, but I do not understand kids these days. Why, oh, why does Hana keep putting me in these situations? No, I can't give up. There's still time. I can make this right. I'm back. I'll put them on the right path. Show them the error of their ways. Let's boil some udon. That is an adult's duty. <laughs> you promise it's your treat today? Sure thing. Hey, thanks for the cooking lessons, by the way. They rocked. Yes! I've been wanting to try rock climbing lake forever. You're the best. I'm glad you're so excited. When we went swimming at the beach recently, it made me realize how much I miss being active. So I'm pumped. Heck yeah! Most pickup sports are things like baseball and frisbee golf. But rock climbing strengthens your entire body at once. Which is a good thing, because I bet you don't get your body rocked much. Phrasing. In rock climbing, we scale the wall by using holds like this. So in general, you start from one labeled S, and then climb to another one labeled G that's the same color. Sounds easy, right? You'll start out with holds meant for all four limbs. Look for the same color labels and follow those as you make your way up. <laughs> all right, good! That was a blast. <coughs> yeah, I feel like I'm dying here. Maybe a few more sessions. I couldn't even think. My muscles were about to give out on me the whole time, so I was pretty much just scrambling in a panic like some kind of defective spider monkey. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure this is for me. Really? Weird. I think I found a new hobby. Yeah, no doy. You're practically glowing, and I kind of despise you for it. I knew I was right. You don't get enough exercise at all. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, you're a super freak who thinks climbing walls for no reason is fun. Where'd you get all that energy anyway? I work out in my spare time. Burpees, mountain climbers. <laughs> You're just mad because you thought you could one-up me in here and got spanked. <gasps> I am not mad at all! What's wrong? You train too much? No blood going to your brain? Ah. Oh, I see. You're still raring to go. How about I bump up the difficulty for this next one? <laughs> the rules are the same as last time, but now you'll be climbing a higher wall. This one is for rope climbing. You'll be wearing a cable and harness as you head up. I'll go first. I see now. It's about endurance. The height makes things tougher than before. All right. I'm really starting to enjoy this. Ah, oh, crap. Where's my foothold? Okay, just take a second and assess your surroundings. Sakurai, just move your other leg first. If you initiate with your right foot instead, it'll be smooth sailing! Yeah, where to, though? There's a spot above your right knee! I don't quite feel it. Where? His arms are taking his full weight. Are you sure it's his first time? He looks like an ugly butterfly. 
That's the most fun I've had in a long time. You call what you were doing up there fun? You're a meathead if I've ever seen one. So, have you recovered, Uzuki? <laughs> He's having so much fun, my jobs don't phase him! You sure you don't need to rest a little longer? Shut up! No way, bro! You just watch! I can so do this! Jeez, what are you screaming about? You okay? Do you need help? I so can't do it ever, I guess. Can't go forward, can't go back. This is my life now. That's a weird way to pout. I'll let you down with the rope. Please, just relax your body. Was that too much? There, there, poor thing. Take a deep breath. You can try again. But I... You seem done for today. How about we get out of here? No, you should keep climbing. I'm happy watching you. Come on. I mean it. You are having fun, aren't you? I like seeing you push yourself more than you have in a while. <clears throat> so, you win. But I gotta say, I never pegged you for the type who would hustle me. I hereby wave the white flag. But I am on to your tricks now, so... If you want to make it up to me, you can pick up our dinner tonight. Why, you little... Impressive. You didn't have to end your little solo party for us. We're sorry if we cut your fun short. <laughs> oh yeah, Sakurai, by all means, please continue. Come on, stop sulking in the corner like a toddler. We said we're sorry. Reminds me of a cornered feral cat who's scared to trust humans. Look at him, so cute. Typical. I mean, this is the same guy who goes to movies by himself all the time like a loser. You would be here alone. Who does solo karaoke? Hello. Uh, this is room 25. We've got two more in here now. Yeah, sorry. Thanks so much. We were just out having some drinks and thought karaoke after party. And then we saw you in here by yourself. Oh, can you order a round of beers for us? I'm never doing karaoke in my neighborhood again. Solo karaoke. True to its name, the act of singing in a ringing techniques without the pressure of an audience judging and laughing. Its adherents are growing in number. However, traditionally, karaoke has been considered a group activity. So if you're spotted going solo, odds are you'll be teased relentlessly at school or work the following day. So you'd better avoid the water cooler and watch out for the receptionist. It's that sad boy. Talk about an icy reception, am I right? And yet, compared to the utter shame of being unable to carry a tune in front of your friends, compared to the embarrassment of bombing the rap section, such treatment is nothing. In other words, anyone who attempts solo karaoke must possess a soul of steel and the heart of a champion. Dummy! Are you really that mad? Don't be such a baby! You freaking lush. Look, I know that we go to the same college. And yeah, sure, we may all work together too, but I don't care. You two still need to learn to respect people's privacy. Enough with the maracas! <laughs> right, listen. Let's make it up to Sakurai. I've got the perfect idea for an apology. Huh? Hey, Hana. Come with me? Let's give him some privacy back. Thing. Uh, what the hell is this? We were loaning out cosplay outfits at the front desk, so we decided to try some on. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Seriously? Yeah, it's fun. Here, have a little drink. Hey, what the? I feel squished. Oh, it's our way of apologizing. We feel real bad for crushing your party. We're so sorry. <laughs> I get a load of these big guns. Aren't you crowding him a little too much, Ami? <laughs> well then, Sakurai, feeling better? <laughs> well, um, actually, I'm not sure. You mean you don't like it? It's not about liking it or disliking it. It's just that, please, I'm begging you, spare me! Tough crowd, huh? Better now? What's that? I was thinking about how no sane person would ever end up in this situation. See, this is what I like most about Sakurai! Gee, great, thanks. Anything I say now will only escalate the situation. Best to nod and smile my way through this. 
Drink booze? Okay, that's fine, but try not to drink too much. Hey, Sakurai, tell us what your favorite cosplay of the evening was. Well, I like the bunny girl. Huh? <laughs> oh, well, okay. Didn't think you'd give a straight answer. <laughs> no, wait! I didn't mean... You're bad. Big of a deal? That guy doesn't appreciate a cute bunny girl, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think I will have that drink now. <laughs> Uzuki? Hey, about yesterday. When I said that bunny girl thing, I... Uh... What happened to you? Here, come inside. I'll get you a towel. No. Huh? I can't hang out with you anymore. I can't hang out with you anymore. It's just... I did it again. I've done something that can't be undone. Wait, calm down and tell me what's going on, okay? I would, but I don't want to be a bother. You're being ridiculous and you know it. If there's any way I can help out, I will. Maybe. I mean, would you seriously do anything? Well... Within reason. Ugh, what's with that weird face, though? As it turns out, I haven't even touched that big report I had for homework over the summer break, and now I'm totally screwed. Uh-huh. I know. It's the same problem as last year. So dumb. Why do they give us summer homework anyway? I'll never understand why they insist on torturing us students. Now my mom is super pissed, of course, and my little brother's teasing me hardcore. It's awful. Did you seriously just close the door on me? No way! You can go do it yourself! Oh, come on, please! How could I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that sounds like Hana, all right. It's honestly not funny anymore. She's getting more comfortable by the day. For real, I think she must have been hiding her claws back when we were in high school. Aww. Interesting. Oh, here. Let me handle the heavy stuff. Come on. This is nothing. Mm Oh, you threw out your back? That hasn't happened in a while. Yes, I think we'll close for the day. This one is bad. I need the chiropractor. Right. Looks like we don't have much choice. Who here has a driver's license? I do. I'm making my dad an appointment at the clinic. Would you mind taking him? You can use our car. In the meantime, Hana, you and I will close up. Yep, yep we, we got, got it. it. Or actually... I could always try being acting manager for the day. I'm not sure how much of your fervor the customers could take. Shut it down. Thanks for helping me close up the shop. Here, on the house. Aw, thank you. I was thirsty. How does it compare to my dad's brew? Mm, it's good. I do appreciate the depth of flavor in his coffee, but I really like the fresh taste of yours, too. So hey, will you inherit the cafe from him one day? <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to inherit it for sure. Unless... I take it first. Okay, that seemed unnecessarily threatening. But... I doubt that'll be happening anytime soon. There's so much I still need to be able to run a successful business. I could definitely use a driver's license for starters. Thank goodness Sakurai was around today. We got lucky. Classic Sakurai is certainly been accommodating. You've made good use of him here. He's not a tool, Hana. Huh? Huh? What did I say? <laughs> it's nothing. So tell me, what were you and our dear Sakurai like in high school? Mm. You now? Oh, no, the funny thing is we actually only started hanging out a little while after we started college. Huh? That's kind of surprising. We only saw each other for club business in high school. Even the first time we met. It was, uh, club-related. What? The swim club? I don't know how I feel about that. I've never been much of a swimmer. No, you could be a manager. You're not in any club yet, right? We can both join. Plus, I know some cute third years in it from middle school. Please? Um, I'll have to think about it. 
Stop thinking! I'm too chicken to go alone! Listen up! We have two new first-year managers joining us today. You guys look after them, got it? That's enough! Cut it out. As you can see, we've got a pretty big roster here. It won't be easy, but do your best. Got it! Okay. This is one of our third-year managers, and I've asked her to show you the ropes. All yours. Thanks, Cap. <laughs> Welcome, girls. Thanks Thank for you having- Oh, hey, Sakurai! Sorry I'm late. I was just cleaning up. Look, we've got two new first-year managers joining us. Yeah, that's something. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> What's up? Sakurai, second year. <laughs> I'm gonna go warm up. Cool, see ya. That was terrifying. His eyes are so fierce. He's a freaking student here? It's my first day and I'm ready to quit. He's scary as heck. Just no! You okay? So yeah, that first impression was not the best. Huh. You know, his eyes have never really bothered me all that much. No worries, because I learned that he's a serious, earnest person at heart. <sighs> Good job, man! That's a new record! Seriously? These are kinda heavy. I got them. That's cool of you, Sakurai. Thanks. Go for the record! Come on! You can do this, dude! Aren't you hungry? pretty quickly that my instincts had been wrong and he wasn't scary in the least. So then you got friendlier and friendlier as time passed. You even sound like him now. Huh? huh? Yeah, you know you're a little more sincere than you used to be. Huh? Wait a minute, do you really not see how you've softened up a bit since you've been hanging out? <laughs> That's enough reminiscing for now! Ugh. Sorry, um, I guess I must have touched a nerve there, huh? Seriously, though, you hadn't noticed? <laughs> no, so I'll be off! Bye! <laughs> Crap, did I just dig up a landmine? Or the greatest treasure chest that ever was? <laughs> Either way, I've got to get her to talk! Question, what's Sakurai like when he's really drunk? Or actually seen him under the influence of anything? I mean, does he cry, laugh, get combative? I can't even picture it. Well, in my experience, usually a person will reveal whatever they've been holding back. Personally, I'd like to hope he's a stripped naked kind of drunk. That's personal, all right. Although, Sakurai can definitely hold his liquor, so maybe it never gets the best of him. Look, Saku's no lightweight, that's for sure. He's overdone it. It's just that he knows his limits, so I think in general he tries to stick to them. Aha, uh -huh, so! One of those rare beasties known as Sakurai's friends has actually seen him drunk in the wild! Rare beastie friends? Could you not? Talk! Tell me everything! How much booze does he have to put away? Hey, hold on. Are you trying to go after Saku while he's wasted? You're gross. No, I just hate that he's seen my booze-related humiliations. I'm trying to drag him down with me, naturally. You've got no one to blame for that but yourself. Please, Sakaki! This is the perfect time for scheming since he's gone! We can't let it go to waste! Okay, famous last words, but I guess you can't cause too much trouble. This should provide- to plan some kind of party. When's a good time? Given how it went with you last time, Ami, I think I'll go it alone. Fascinating. Whatever did you do to make Hana shut you out, oh daughter of mine? Hey, you're here. Come on in. Yep, right on time. Why'd you want to come over for a drink all of a sudden? Wait, hold up. What? I finished my report, okay? Oh, you did? Well, that's good. Yeah, so let's go all out today. I brought food so I can handle the cooking, see? Getting back home is the hard part with Saku, so he rarely drinks when he's out, which means he's more likely to lower his guard at his place. Phase one, check. Wow, you really are a great cook, Uzuki. <laughs> Go on, eat up! Don't mind if I do. Who knew you could actually make chili shrimp at home? Well, that is 
an exaggeration. Put out spicy snacks with a lot of flavor to keep him drinking. And then... Hey, I brought some DVDs. Wanna watch? We've got five different killer shark choices. Oh! Keep him good and distracted so he's less likely to notice how many drinks he's throwing back. Phases two and three? Check! And since Saku tends to keep pace with whoever he's with, if you're drinking, he'll naturally keep drinking too. Pretend. Just pretend. Here! You ready for another one? Thanks. <laughs> and now it's time for the main event, my darling Sakurai! When Saku's drunk, he's useless. Meaning what? Meaning he can hold a conversation, but I wouldn't trust the guy to put together a piece of furniture. And he starts looking stupidly sloppy, too. Sloppy Saku! In that state, Saku can't lie, much less try to act cool. His mental defenses are basically zero at that point. He's big on minding his limits because he's not into showing that side of himself to anyone. Hey, mister. So is this what it looks like when you're feeling no pain, huh? Uh, <laughs> I never dreamed of this level of vulnerability. Uh, who's the key? What's up? Thank you. That food was yummy. And you cooked it. <gasps> I'm really glad you think so. Though I'd be even happier if you could give me your honest opinions without first having to drown yourself in tons of alcohol. Uh, can't do it. Too shy. Does that mean you've been holding some things back? Because if so, here's your big chance to come out with all the stuff you couldn't see before. I love... You're cooking. I love it. <laughs> Not really what I expected to walk into. Wow, good thing I told Izuki to leave the door unlocked. Hey, Saku, you okay? Uh, it's Suhito. What are you... Forget that. Come on, get your butt over to your futon and lay down. Okay. <sighs> Let's get you covered up too, Uziki. Yeah, I wanna... <sighs> Sweet dreams, kiddos. I'll look up for you. Yeah, thanks, you guys. Uh, hold on. Something's kind of weird about this. But, but what why is, is it? it? I see. Let me get this straight. Neither of you can remember anything about last night, right? Correct. I get that. But you didn't have to come in on your day off, you know. Especially since I gave you the day off on purpose. Um, how about this? Try remembering events in order one by one. One, one by, by one? I remember cooking, for sure. Bringing the stuff to make a shrimp dinner. And eating and drinking while we watched movies. Yeah, that sh fantasy world. And I was like, whoa, dude, he's crazy strong. For some reason, that's all I can remember, though. Movie sounds like a winner. And after that, I remember enjoying Sakurai's pitiful tipsiness for a while. Hey. Pretty sure it was extremely amusing. Hey. Then, when I woke up, we were in the same futon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, would you mind saying that again? We'll listen extra closely this time. Talk about an obvious bribe. You heard me perfectly. 
When I woke up, Uzuki was beside me. Anything happen? <laughs> no, we didn't do anything! I seriously can't remember what happened last night! If you don't remember, then you can't be sure of what you did either way. Right? You really are a pain, especially at times like this. Okay, look, I was actually there, and I'm saying nothing happened. Isn't that enough for you? Two people and nothing happened? That's the problem here! You're mad at me? Dunno. I'm trying to remember, but it's all so fuzzy. I can't say for sure that I was. I mean, I can't say anything for certain, so... <laughs> I love... What are you grinning about? Huh? What grin? I was just yawning! <laughs> Admit it, you don't remember anything from last night, do you? Uh, uh, something definitely happened. Something good, I think. But even so... All we can do now is imagine whatever marvelous event it might have been! I should have shown up even if I had to force my way in! Why? Why is my daughter like this? Next time you have to let me tag along! Promise? Of course. That's fine with me. Yeah, let's do your place again. What's the big rush? Shut up and buy a gas futon, would you? How about you go home? Hey, I know. Let's do it again tonight. Two nights in a row. Pretty wild. <laughs> Are you crazy? Classes start back up tomorrow. Huh? Uh, so that means our summer break is over? Dead and gone. She's acting as if it's the end of the world. For real? You just realized this? Well, then I guess I'll just sleep until winter break. Is hanging out the only thing you ever think about? Hana, it's time to wake up, hon. Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> Good morning. Mom, Hannah's looking even dopier than usual, and it's freaking me out. <sighs> Shut your pie hole, kitty. Here, a strong cup of coffee for your first day back at college. Try and perk up a bit. Okay. Some college student. Way to set an example. See? <sighs> huh? <laughs> hey, good morning! Oh, Uzuki. Morning. So, you made it on campus. I was sure you'd just whine and moan about classes again. I'm a slacker, but I'm not a total idiot. Though it's true, I'm still feeling about 90% of that terrible end of summer shock from yesterday. You're not even a little bit over it. I know, it's because we didn't hang out nearly enough. If it were always summer, then you and I could spend so much more time together. You're being ridiculous. It's too harsh! Sakurai, you need to at least pretend to consider a woman's feelings. What I meant was, it doesn't have to be summer for us to hang. We'll always be together. <laughs> huh? Something wrong? What is it? <laughs> Wait, back up! What I said, graduate! Not whatever it is that you were thinking! <laughs> oh? Whatever do you think I was thinking, huh? Damn you, girl! I'm a woman, thank you very much. And if you want to hang out so badly, I guess I'll have to apply. Don't be shy, you can go ahead and think me now. <laughs> are you kidding me with this smug crap? You know what you are! <laughs> Annoying as hell! Come on, loner boy, let's go hang out!